Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining the space. Um, Destiny, I'm going to invite you as a speaker, so you just have Okay, we can uh, wait for a minute until he connects, and when he is connected, he can unmute himself and speak. Can you hear me now, Destiny? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Hello, hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Can, every, can everyone show by show of hands? Can you guys hear us okay? Just uh, drop like a heart or a hello. I'm muting them for a sec. This is going to be okay. how every single Reactions conservative debate should go. If you debate a conservative, this is how right every corner. single one should go okay. until the if election. Not, okay. This is going to be a walkthrough for um, okay? So I just wanted to create this space because there was obviously a huge event happening yesterday. And um, as maybe some people saw, there's a lot of uh, argument, arguing going on about Trump and who he is and all that stuff. So um, I just wanted to chat with Destiny, hopefully respectfully, and just uh, hear his thoughts about why he says the things that he does um, about Trump and uh, maybe share some of my own thoughts. Maybe he'll dance circles around me, maybe not, because he's a very skilled debater. I'm not a live streamer. He does this for a living. This is just a hobby of mine. So uh, thanks, Destiny, for coming on and chatting. And um, yeah, where did you want to start? Yeah, I guess firstly, uh, wait, so what is your current political affiliation? Or, or like, well, who do you I'm like support or whatever? Like, I, I'm in Canada. I'm, I'm actually in Canada. I don't know if you know that about me. I, I'm in Canada and I'm conservative. In Canada and you're conservative. Okay, so I yeah. can assume that you support um, Donald Trump or whatever? Yeah, I, th I think he did a good job when he was president. Uh, I don't think he, um, you know, he's the, the monster that people um, make him out to be or like the criminal that people make him out to be. I think, you know, he, as brash as he is and some of the things that he says in a bombastic Trump way, I don't think he's uh, um, as bad as the media tries really, really hard to portray him. Okay. Do you acknowledge that yeah. he led an insurrection against the U.S. government and, and he tried to steal power? I don't. Um, I don't think he did that. I don't. I don't see. I don't see evidence of him saying he uh, inc he incited an insurrection. I think I watched him call for peace uh, on video. I saw the tweet that he put out saying we want peace. We're the party of law and order. Like I don't. Uh, I don't think that uh, you can ascribe insurrection to those words. Are you aware that Donald Trump organized seven different sets of people to fake an elector vote? in seven different states in the United States with the goal of sending those elector votes to Congress and then begging and then pressuring Mike Pence, first with words and then with the violence that he directed on the 6th in order for him to unilaterally toss the election by either selecting those elector votes, the fake ones that he submitted, or by having the House choose Donald Trump to be the president uh, against the will of the American people. Are you aware of any of that? I, I haven't seen him using any kind of threats of violence against Mike Pence. Excuse my me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I didn't say anything about a threat of violence. I don't know who you're talking to or what you're responding to. I just asked you very specifically for the thing that I just laid out. Are you aware of any of that? Do you, are you, do you know any of that? I believe you said something about violence. Okay. Let me restate. Okay. Okay. Donald All Trump right. organized seven different sets of people, okay, in seven different states to send in fake votes, okay, to the... Uh, to Congress, essentially, in order to pressure Mike Pence, okay? First, it was okay, words. Pressure Mike Pence, okay. Well, pressure? first, it was with okay. words. He, he begged him to do it behind the scenes multiple times, and Pence said no, because he's not a traitor to the country. Um, and then the second time is he called his crowd of people that he gathered on the 6th and then sent them to the Capitol grounds to protest um, with the goal of getting Pence to choose the fake electorate votes that he sent in to Congress. Are you aware of any of that? What is the evidence for that, though? It's laid out in the indictments, and nobody denies any of it. If you want, you can okay. go to YouTube, and if you want, I'll wait, for, I'll wait five minutes right now for you. You can go on YouTube, and you could go, false electorates try to enter capital, and there are videos that will pop up. The first one says, Republicans try to deliver their own electoral votes to Michigan capital. There are people that are being charged in multiple states right now for perjuring themselves, saying that they were the duly elected, appointed representatives of their state to cast their electorate vote. Nobody denies this. Nobody denies okay. this. Okay? So okay. you're not aware of any right. of this. Um, I haven't heard of that story, no. That's another way of saying you're not aware of any of this. So, okay, so step one, okay, let's assume that what I just said is true because nobody's denying it, and Trump's defense against this is to ask for criminal immunity. You're aware of that, right? That Donald Trump's way of defending himself was to go before the Supreme Court and say, I need to be immune from criminal prosecution. Are you aware of that? Well, I wasn't following it that closely, so no. 
okay, well, are you aware that Donald Trump, his attorney went before the Supreme Court and was granted uh, criminal pro uh, criminal immunity for the first time in all of U.S. history for an ex-president that now the, the office of the presidency enjoys absolute criminal immunity and presumptive criminal immunity for, a, for basically every action a president can take. Are you aware of that? Uh, no, I'm not aware of that. Okay. How many videos have you seen of Joe Biden uh, stumbling down some stairs or having slurs or forgetting words in his speech? Um, well, there's... They're, they are floating around. I've seen some of those. Yep. Do you understand that? Do you understand that this is a problem? That you have absolutely no f***ing idea what's going on in my country? You, what's you, going on in my? Ex Let me finish, please. And then you can go. You talk as long as you want. Sure. You don't know what's happened in my country. You don't know what's happened with my government. You don't know any of the things that Donald Trump has been involved in. But I bet if I go through your Twitter, I can find 50 million videos of Joe Biden uh, with his stupid f***ing open mouth or, or or slurring some word. Do you think that's an issue? Um, well, I think the president being fit is an issue. Yeah, for sure. What about being he an insurrectionist? Be I don't believe he's an insurrectionist. Oh, what did I just lay out then that either doesn't qualify for insurrection or isn't true from what I just said? Or if you want, you can admit that you have no idea what I'm talking about and you need to go back to the drawing board before even beginning to have an opinion on this topic. Um, well, I can have an opinion because free speech exists, so I can say what I want to say. Um, First you know, of all, you know, no. Number one, no. You're a Canadian. You have no guarantee of free speech. Number two, that's obviously not what I meant. You obviously are entitled to an opinion. I'm saying that it was a shorthand for uh, to have a well-formed opinion that merits consideration. Right? You're not even aware well, of any of the major events okay. happening in this country. I don't know how you can have a strong opinion on, on whether or not Donald Trump is an insurrectionist or not. Well, I see what the media says about uh, the current events, and I see the media pushing and saying things like, to serve his country, President Biden should drone strike Donald Trump. And to me, that seems uh, like not very appropriate thing to say for, for uh, you know, as an advice for the current sitting president. And that doesn't seem like a strong uh, uphold of uh, democracy or decency, as they would say, because they said decency was on the ballot. If Rachel Maddow told you that walking on sidewalks was dangerous, would you walk in the street? Mm, no. Then why are you citing me something that the media said and then giving me your four-year... Do you have children? Do you react to everything like a child? If the media says something you don't like it, do you just take the opposite position without giving a single original thought yourself into what you're actually being told? Or is your entire ideology defined by reactionism? No, I, no I'm not ideologically possessed. Um, I agree with certain things that sometimes the liberals say, and I can disagree with certain things that conservatives do. Okay. I, it's not... That's it's fine. It's not like... Yeah, it's not like I, I watch, uh, you know, state Canadian media and take the opposite stance of everything to say because twice twice a day a broken clock is right. So cool. uh, it's not okay. An issue so then let's. Me. I think we can. I, going back to the uh, the insurrection thing, uh, if I had, if every part of what I laid out was true, if Donald Trump slated false electors in states had that sent to Congress and knowingly gathered a crowd of what, 50, what thousand, whatever people, and then sent them to the Capitol building in the hopes that they would protest to pressure the fake electors being chosen. Do you think any of that qualifies as an insurrection? Would I have to be an expert in insur insurrection law to state state that one way or another? But you don't have to be an, ins uh, you don't have to be an expert in insurrection law to say confidently that it wasn't? Well, perhaps you're right about that, but... Um... I, you know, I, like I said, I refer to his actual words um, that he put out on social media and on video saying that he's requesting for peace. You understand and that that came after he was begged for hours while he and his crony corrupt Giuliani made phone calls to sitting congressmen inside of the lockdown building, right? That he was calling them, pressuring them to delay the certification of the vote. It was hours after that that he finally went on Twitter when the insurrection had failed and said, okay, guys, we need to go home. Uh, well, like I said, I wasn't following it 24-7. Then why do you have an opinion like on it? You, well, you weren't following 24-7. You were following it 0-0. You have no idea what happened on any of this. Why do you, why do you think you should have an opinion on any of this? Well, I told you, I can have an opinion if I want. You can, but, I, but then you, people should like make fun of you and like bully the f*** of you for it, right? You've literally no idea about any of this. It wasn't correct. that what our original tweet was over, is that I think I called you a, like, didn't I call you a hack f***? It seems like I was correct, right? You have absolutely no idea about literally well, any know, of these issues. Yes, okay. 
maybe I haven't followed the case as closely as you have. Hold on, not I, closely. You don't even have any idea. You have no concept. You don't know anything about what I'm talking. You don't even know what an electoral vote is, do you? Of course I do. Of course I do. It's it's what the United States has for their electoral process. We have a similar process here in Canada. It's not majority vote. It's not democracy. It's a constitutional republic. Okay. If you know what an electoral vote is, do you think it's acceptable for people to try to fake them like Donald Trump did in seven different states? Well, like I said, what is the evidence that he faked those? What, what is your evidence for that? What would you want to see? What if I could show you hypothetically uh, seven different uh, certifications filled out with false electors? Um, I can send you a YouTube video uh, of, of, this, of these people literally gathering outside in Michigan in the courthouse. Um, hold on. Here's a, here's a, here's a YouTube video for, uh, for that. I can go on Obsidian and I can find you the, um, if anybody has a quick link to the, uh, like they have, photographs of all of the <laughs> of all the fake things that they filled out pretending well, that they, they were also the have photo they also have photographs um, and video of people uh, you know stuffing ballots and bringing out bags and security footage from uh, places where people are voting and they were putting up tarps over the windows and are you uh, aware were, are you aware that every single one of those was investigated um, and that every single one of those was heard before a court and that they, every single one of these, except for one, was shot down, a lot of them by conservative judges that Trump himself, or at least his administration, appointed? Uh, well, like I said, I wasn't following this case 24-7, so no, I wasn't following the procedures that came out of that. Okay, but you, you've seen pictures of it, right? Are you embarrassed or ashamed that you've had like strong opinions about this because of pictures that you've seen, because of dip like Elon Musk feeding you lies on Twitter? Dustin, you don't have to be that rude. I'm being really respectful. Hold on. I'm no, 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 no. Sure wait, wait. I like... just, hold on. I just, I, I need you to understand something so much. Okay. You're not being respectful. You're actually f***ing evil. Okay. This idea that you can walk around and as evil. long as, that's great. I don't care. The idea that you can walk around and as long as you say the worst type of shit imaginable in a nice enough voice that you should be treated with respect is absurd. Right. In, in no other function in life would anybody ever be treated that way. You have no concept of anything related to the insurrection. You have no concept of what's even happened aside from what you've seen, I guess, on Twitter and the media. But you're out here tweeting along with every other uh, insurrectionist supporting in my country about how <laughs> Donald Trump is treated unfairly in the media and 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 Joe Biden isn't fit to be president. Like you have no idea what you're talking about for any of this, though. Hey, do you think it's okay for uh, Joe Biden voters to, you know, make like a life-sized uh, version of Trump and like put a fake guillotine over him or to hold up bloody severed heads of him and things like that? Do you think that contributes to anything that's happening in the States? Nope. I think that uh, to the first question, I would say, no, that's not acceptable. We're, uh, were Democrats or protesters doing that? outside of the Capitol building, except instead of a guillotine of Trump, were they talking about Mike Pence? And were they doing that because the president of the United States said that they needed to pressure Mike Pence and that when Mike Pence wasn't accepting the pressure, he tweeted out that uh, Pence has failed us? Did that happen? Do you remember any of that? Or is that another thing that's conveniently mind wiped from saw, your brain? I saw that tweet. So I saw that. You don't have to insult me. Like There's, there's no need for that. Um, I saw that tweet and I saw some people uh, calling for Mike Pence for, for whatever they were calling for him. To be clear, uh, hold on, just to be clear, that... they were calling for his assassination because he wasn't willing to finish the insurrection, to finish the coup that Donald Trump and Eastman had set up for him. Okay. Just to be clear, well, yeah. I, I don't, okay, I don't believe that a few crazies represent uh, the majority. They do. So, But they do. And, what, and, why, no, why would you say that? The I president called so. them there in a speech. He gave them exactly the words that they needed. He said that Mike Pence is the one who needs to toss the, basically the... the the uh, election for us. He's the only one that we can rely on. Uh, he told them that we need to make sure that our electorate slates are counted. Uh, and then he sent them to the Capitol building to pressure the, the I guess, the people there to, to do whatever it is that they were supposed to do, which was to steal the election. But, but did he did he tell them to call for his uh, assassination? Did he did he incite them to do that? Is that what you're did saying? Did he incite like, them? He, yes, did, he laid he out every single... Words. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, ma'am. So he needs to say the exact words. You need to go assassinate someone for him to be culpable. In that case, you would agree then that there is not a single Democrat lead in leadership that you would hold responsible for any amount of violence, right? Unless, are you going to show me... Uh, uh, um, are you going to show me some kind of tweet or video of a Democrat saying we need to kill conservatives? Have you seen a single one of those? Um... 
I've seen some crazy statements coming from uh, Democrats. I didn't ask for crazy either. statements. I didn't ask. I asked were there explicit calls for violence where they said we need to go kill conservatives. OK, so like I don't have a photographic memory. I believe I've seen similar things, maybe not by elected Democrats, but Democrat voters. Oh, wait, excuse me, Democrat to... voters. What does that have to do with anything? I was talking about the president of the United States. And now you're going to appeal to an average everyday citizen like they have the same level of, of moral responsibility okay, or but, political but culpability. Trump but Trump did not call for his followers to go and do something insanely violent. Yes, he did. That's he called he for them to go march to the to the Capitol grounds and to protest the certification of the vote in the United States of America to prevent the peaceful uh, transfer of power, which is what they did for some number a, of hours. A, a protest isn't a protest is a legal proceeding. You can protest peacefully. Um, did unlike, they protest peacefully? I believe they did. Really? Um, How did the I ones get inside I the saw building? A guy. Um, I, I watched a guy saying we need to go into the Capitol and people were around him saying, no, we do not need to do that. There was law enforcement nearby. They were saying, um, you know, these, this is what these crazies are saying. You need to do something. Why aren't you do some, doing anything? I saw windows. How did they smashed. get how did they get into the building? Uh, well, from video footage, it shows them just walking in. As Hold on. Excuse guards. me. Do you think that the first people that got into the Capitol, do you think they just walked in? Well, did you see them just walk in? No, they didn't, because I actually watched the videos, ma'am. Have you seen any of them? Have you seen any footage that doesn't come from Tim Pool, Elon Musk, Stephen Crowder, The Daily Wire, uh, Tucker Carlson? Have you have you watched any original yes, reporting on I, this whatsoever? Yes, or have I, you literally I, exclusively well, watched whatever conservative shit down your throat? No, no. OK, so then let me ask. Hold on. Like, real clearly. Wait, wait, wait. Real, real clearly. Sec, can I, can how did I the respond? first how did the first people get into the Capitol building? Can I can I respond? Sure. Uh, would you consider CNN original? content or like i'm just you, curious if you watch any non-right wing content? like any actual reporting on it not like a pundit do you consider cnn and cnn in is a like news that? network there are pundits that are on cnn just like fox news is a news network and there are pundits that are on fox news there's reporting which is when people do reports usually there are cameras involved and then there are pundits so people like uh tucker carlson or anderson cooper would be a pundit yes yes i understand what you mean okay i'm just i was just trying to clarify so you're telling me that there's video that exists of people violently approaching the building and breaking their way in? Is that what you're saying? I, you, you're, you can't, you, you can't honestly be seriously asking me that question. Are you not aware that it is uncontested that the first people that went into the building broke in? Are you telling me right now that you don't believe that to be the case? Well, I'm just asking you if there's footage of it that exists. There is That's plenty of footage, yes. And now I'm asking you, are you under the impression that the first people that got into the Capitol building, that they walked in? From what I've seen, they were, there was security guards standing. They were People were walking in. And I, I even recall, I hope this is accurate, I even recall some saying, I don't agree with this, but he was just letting them walk in. So, yeah, that's what I saw. And I, the only violence that I saw that was happening, like broken windows or the guy shouting there, standing, I think his name was Ray Epps. I think he was standing and shouting and saying, we need to go into the Capitol. And people around him were appalled at what he was saying. Nope, you're not shouting, true. That's no, not no, true. You're lying and you didn't see that, okay? You saw that the night yes. before. I, no, because I'm sorry. I watched all of these videos with Ray Epps. It's one of the favorite of you conservatards, okay, to try to blame everything on him, all right? Well, Which no is need also... To insult, like, no, there you, is. You, you, you need to, to be. Me. You needed to be bullied so much more life, okay? Jesus fucking Christ, okay? Uh, uh, the videos you, of Ray Epps calling... My life. The, why, I know enough you... about you. I know enough about you to know that your opinion is worthless and that you are one of the strongest arguments for why there should be an IQ limit to actually get onto social media and post opinions about politics. <laughs> is that is that what is that how free speech works, Destiny? No, unfortunately, I guess not. Like, are you for free speech? Generally, good thing we're on a okay, social so media platform that's privately owned right now, so freedom of speech isn't really a, a, a topic so, for discussion here. What do you think free speech means in the United States, by the way? Do you think that means that corporations have to host every single thing that's said on them? Well. I view the space that we're currently on, Twitter, as the town digital square. So I believe free speech applies, should apply on 
on this platform because no one stands in the town square anymore. It's it's kind of an outdated concept. So okay, and if I declare your basement the town square, can me and my friends go hang out there and like have some drinks? Why why would I care what your individual determination is for some particular space online? You you realize that it's totally irrelevant to anything that exists in law or the constitution, right? Okay, so h how do you see free speech then? So you see that I'm, this platform is I have it, I have absolutely no desire. I have no desire to discuss this topic with you. Um, maybe for another time, but uh, okay. do do you you're unaware then? Because I can start linking you like video like for all the violent videos that you saw of people that were breaking in or of people that were fighting cops or whatever. Where do you think that came from? Do you think it was like just lifted from Baltimore and they said it was the Capitol building or? Uh. Like there, there was a crowd of people in front of the White House. So, what do you mean, like lifted from Baltimore? I don't understand what you mean. For the you, people you that were that? breaking in, how do you think? Yeah, why, why were they breaking broken. in? I saw windows being broken, and um, I saw people saying, "What are you doing?" And then I saw uh, law enforcement being around and not doing anything about it. And I presume the law enforcement that's there um, on the grounds of this official building, uh, you know, should have done something about it, but they didn't. And that was confusing. And so, and the people, that, the majority of the people were there, as you said, protesting under uh, allegedly Trump uh, directing him there to go and protest and be violent and whatever it is that you said. Like, I... Um, you know, I, I think they were opposing the actions why do you that think, were happening. That were, why do you think the cops pardon? didn't stop them? I don't know. Why wouldn't they stop them? Because there weren't enough of them. Because nobody knew that Donald Trump was going to invite and send his whole crowd of insurrectionists to the Capitol building to try to delay the certification of the vote. Uh, well, why wasn't there enough? Like, if people thought that he was so bad, why wouldn't they bring reinforcements? It's not really relevant to the to the question. Why not? Because it's not it, relevant. It, like, it, does, example, it doesn't have any. It doesn't contradict any of the underlying well, for facts. Example, for example, you know, people like Pelosi and all. No, all I'm the sorry. Democrats. Excuse me. No, that n Pelosi has nothing to do with this. Um, if your strongest counter argument is, well, maybe Pelosi should have called for more guards to fight against Trump's insurrectionists. I mean, like, what the. F Kind of argument are you even making there? Like, I, I don't think he called for insurrectionists again. But if what was it? What like were, I said, if what was he calling people? The, to the, what if, were they going okay, to protest? Can, can I just finish the thought? Yeah, go can for I, it. Can I just finish the thought? So, like, if these people who were saying Trump is literally Hitler and he's the devil and um, you know he needs to be taken out or whatever it is that they said, um, like if that was their belief about him and they kept saying. You know, Hillary said he's an illegitimate president and all these things. Um, wouldn't wouldn't like their first instinct, like they said he's a threat to democracy, he's a dictator, he's this, he's not. Wouldn't their like instinct be to, on the day where they would, you know, they thought that he would do something crazy to, you know, make sure there was enough guards, to make sure there was enough uh, people to stop some of the... Yeah, when, when when Hillary said that Trump was an illegitimate president, what was she referring to? You when don't even said, know. Do you even yeah, know what speech yeah. it came from or what she was talking about? Yeah, she was talking about Trump, and she was saying he knows he's an illegitimate president. Like that sounds like an election denial to me. Okay, well, it's not. You should go look up the context of like some of these speeches rather than just going by the tweets that you see that are showing. Okay, so uh, okay, so help me understand. No, so I'm, I don't. I don't. Said, well, wait, no, no, hold on. What I want to help you understand first is I want you to watch this, and I just want you to talk through with this. I want you to talk me through this, okay? At like go to fifteen thirty and tell me what what are we what are we watching? What's happening here? <sighs> What do you mean? Like you sent a link? You want me to go open a link? Yeah. Do you, are you on a computer or a phone right now? I'm on both. Okay. I want you to open this okay. up and we'll just go to 1530. And we, I just want to watch a little bit. I just want to watch together. Uh, I just want to see. I, I want you to give me your take on what's actually happening in this video. Which link is it? There's three links here. The last one I sent you. You can read the other first two in your own time or not. You probably won't. It doesn't matter. Okay. It says... Okay. It's 40 minutes long. Yep, go to 15 minutes and 30 seconds. We just have to watch a minute or two. Okay. 
Let me know when you're there, and then we'll start it at the same time. Okay, I'm watching it. Oh, wait, what time are you at? Uh, 15.25. Okay, wait, we can start at the same time, okay? Ready? Three, sure. two, one, go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so people are marching with yep. flags. Yep. Just curious, what do you think they're going here to protest? Um, the, the results they believe that was stolen from them. Ah, so they're going here to protest the election. Okay. Is protesting illegal? I didn't say, did I say that this was illegal? No, I said that this is overall as part of an insurrection. Why is this guy kicking? No, the, earlier, wait, wait, why is no, this guy kicking? Said, Stop, I, don't divert. Hold on. Don't divert. Protesting in and of itself is obviously not illegal. I'm asking you what these people are going here to protest for. I'm just curious if you have an idea. Hold on. Wait, I pause. Go back to 1556. Why is he breaking that window open when the cops are supposed to be opening it for them? At 1553, you have people, an idea? Well, like I said, I watched them break windows and I watched other people telling them not to do this. Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, at what time are you at right now? 15.54. Okay. Well, we'll start again in three, two, one, go. Oh, there's the door. Hmm. Oh, they broke that one too. That's crazy. W where are the cops here that are letting them into the building? Do you know where they're at at this yeah, point? Yeah. Where are they? Why is there not enough? It's a good question. Like if, if, if that doesn't matter though. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's like, not relevant. The question right now is what's happening outside. How are they getting into the building? Before you told me, the do you, if you want to change the claim to there weren't enough officers there, we can have that conversation. But you said no, earlier that you'd seen. I'm, that's, I'm not changing the claim. I I clearly stated there was not enough officers, and cool. I agree. There wasn't. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yep. Yeah. So we don't, we don't disagree there. Okay. What, why, but yeah. so then did the people break into the Capitol building then or were they let in? In some of this footage, a few individuals are breaking a window and okay. we'll keep watching down a barricade. Okay, we'll keep watching. Yeah. I'm at 1653 now. Seems like they're trying to push some cops back. No, yeah, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got, oof, okay. So do, do the cops look like they're leading them in here? Would you ha would you have that impression no, as you're watching? No, here they it? don't. Oh, no, okay, they gotcha. Don't, they okay. don't look like they're leading them here at all. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just checking. Like I can I can uh, acknowledge when I haven't seen some footage before. I'm, this is I'm not like I like I said I'm not ideologically possessed to say to excuse anything and everything. Like I the fact admit, that you haven't seen this means that you are so ideologically brainwashed. You're like in another no, dimension. Yes, I don't think yes, so. you absolutely are. I'm sorry. Do, you, do these cops here, the guy with the baton that's hitting the people, do you think that he's letting them in peacefully? Oh, clearly not. There's okay, okay, just making sure. Not. Okay, the gates okay. here that are being pushed over, was that by the order of the cops? Oh, you see the cops walking back now. Do you think that they're letting them in peacefully now? Now are the cops leading them in? Or do you think they're retreating from a position because there are 50,000 savages that are in front of them that have all been riled up from Donald Trump and marched like a mile away to come to the Capitol building to protest the election results? Or, or, or were they just letting them in? Do you have any idea? Okay, so some of them were let in. Some of them okay. approached okay. without uh, without being uh, held back by the law enforcement. Okay, well, now so, we're coming to the building. Okay, is this guy banging on the window, the one that broke it there? The, are these guys being let in right now? That guy? Doesn't look like it. Hold on. Oh, now, when that guy jumps in and the cop is spraying, what is that, silly putty? I guess it must be at him or whatever because they're playing games here. Are there already people being led into the building at some other spot at this point? Or are the first okay. people in the building the ones that broke in? There's a few people that broke in, yes. The first I ones that got in that. broke in, anyway, correct? Um, so, so, okay, so just to get back. Uh, no, no, wait, 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 first I wanna hear you say, the first people that got into here broke in, correct? The first few people, it looks like some of them um, were pushing their way in. And no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. What do you call it when you push through a material and you break it? That's called a break in. They broke in, right? So I just have a quick question for you. Um, like you, you seem extremely angry about all of this. Yes, and I you're am. You're fighting with a lot of people on Twitter. Yep. You're insulting people on yep, Twitter. I am. Um, so, um, do you think that uh, any of what's been said by the people in the last four years, like I said, demonizing Trump, 
um, calling him, you know, like literally Hitler and celebrating, um, you know, the people celebrating the attempt on his life. Do you think that contributes to what uh, to what was happening um, in 2020? Uh, no, maybe a little, maybe one percent. Here's Why the, not? the issue you have is because your problem is you're saying too many people are demonizing Trump. Have you ever stopped to think, well, maybe he's acting like a demon? People are treating Trump like he's a dictator. Have you ever thought that maybe he's actually acting like a dictator? The fact that um, you're not familiar with anything that happened on, you don't know any of the no, evidence. You don't know what, you don't know the entire Jack Smith indictment. You didn't even know that the first people that got into the Capitol building broke in. Why would I care what you know? You clearly know nothing about any of this. Yet you seem to have a strong opinion no, about I it. I don't think I don't. I don't think that's correct. I think I know some. Of, I think I know uh, some things. I wasn't following. Like I said, wasn't following it twenty four seven without sleeping or reading full indictments. But it's or reading any possible. any part of an indictment. Right? Be, can you no. be honest about that? You haven't read a single sentence in any of the four indictments that Donald Trump is facing in the United States. Right? Well, I guess it's only three now because one case is done. Hopefully, it gets tossed. Thank God for the Supreme Court. But can you admit that you haven't read a single word of any of those indictments? Can you, no, before that, can you? No, no, no. I need to hear you. I need to hear you say that first, so that we're on the same page, and then I'll answer whatever question you want. You haven't read a single no, no, sentence no. Like, from any you, of those you interrupted indictments. Interrupted me when I was trying to talk to you about him being a dictator. You say he's a dictator. He's acting like a dictator. Yeah. Um, did he not uh, relinquish his, uh, you know, his loss? After a failed, Without. after a failed insurrection. So no, he didn't relinquish it. He lost his insurrection attempt, and then he walked away so mad. Even though he said, uh, "Be peaceful, we're not violent," and all those things, you still believe that he, you, you not believe you, you assess for that to be part of him inciting an insurrection. Yeah. Yeah, of course, because I have a brain, and somebody saying in one sentence walk peacefully doesn't magically nullify the entire hour-long speech where he's telling people you have to fight like hell or you're going to lose your country or that we have to pressure congress to do the okay, right but, thing and count okay, the, the legally but, slated but, electors like, so on and on, i just want to be really clear because in any other circumstance you would understand this but obviously your brain is subject to the political cancer that has manifested there for at least the last four years right no a single sentence no, I, in a I, one I hour speech does not nullify the entirety of the speech because guess what if i look at what happened right after the speech do you think it's a coincidence that people went they're marching, chanting 1776 so on the day that the like election was going to be certified, and then they broke into the building and they delayed the certification of the election? Was all of that just a coincidence? So, so you think the words fight like hell is problematic, but you don't see other words as problematic when they say... Kat, I'm, um, I'm so sorry. Example, I, I, no, no. I don't evaluate this like a four-year-old. I'm not looking at one sentence or one word, because I know what you want to say. Well, when they said fight like hell, what about when Nancy Pelosi says we need to fight? And what about what... No, it's not the same. What I'm saying is that Taken as a whole, Donald Trump called people here on January 6th to do this speech while they were certifying the vote. He riled them up. He tried to rig the election, and then he sent them to the Capitol building to protest where they broke in, where they delayed the certification of the election, which was his I goal. And then he made calls. An impassioned speech for his country is, is them riling oh. riling his base up. What were they going there to protest? What were they going there to protest? Pardon? What were they going there to protest? They were going to protest because they thought the election was stolen from them oh, unlawfully. That's an insurrection. No, it isn't. What do you think it how, means if you go to protest this, because you think an election was protest? stolen? It, well, Hillary thought it was stolen. Hillary well, because, Hillary said gave up that night. President. Hillary gave up that night. How many court cases did Hillary launch to challenge the election results? Can you tell me how many court well, cases was how it? many how many people how many powerful people wanted her, uh, you know, wanted her kept out of power? How many did court cases have, did Hillary, Tritton, uh, Hillary many, Clinton launch no, no, no. to challenge the election how, results? Like, did she have an entire barrage of media and elected officials uh, demonizing her and um, doing the same thing that they're doing to Trump, trying to prevent her to, uh, from being elected? Did, did that happen to Hillary? How many court cases did Hillary Clinton launch challenging the results of the election? But did she have such a forceful uh, barrage of... Like I said, media, elected officials, and including their base, uh, you know, just vehemently opposing, calling her Hitler, calling her the devil, 
you know, saying all these yes, things. Yes, the Republicans she, had been doing it for years. Out? Yes. What do you think the email scandal was about? What do you think the Benghazi hearings were about? By the way, so, hearings that Hillary Clinton sat through, gave testimony for like 12 hours and an investigation that she fully cooperated with. Not like the insurrectionist, uh, traitorous president so that you support so who invoked not, executive privilege at every single opportunity, who pled the fifth at every single opportunity, and who has now been granted absolute criminal immunity for some of his actions so that he never has to answer for any of the things so, that he's done. So, so to so go back one more time, like, I answered your question to go back one more time how many lawsuits did hillary clinton file challenging the result of the election i don't know did she file any not a single one okay um so they when did hillary wait, wait when did hillary uh concede the election it was within one day do you agree with that I was following closely then, so I don't know. It was. Know she it, called, it was within I know a day. She called him an illegitimate president. That's great. I know. Yeah, I know, I know you got those good talking start. points in. I like how that, by the way, I like how that one sentence, that's enough for you there. But one sentence from Trump saying, fight like hell. And then afterwards, there's people going, fight like hell. That doesn't mean anything um, to you. That's very funny to me. F fight like hell doesn't necessarily mean go and uh, try to assassinate a VP or uh, break windows or anything like that. When then why say, is it wait 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 let's say i agree with what you just said okay sure why is it then that when that started to happen and when staffer after staffer went in begging trump hey can you call off your sycophantic savage fuck fans can you please do that donald trump sat there drinking a diet coke while ashley babbitt got shot in the face in the basement of the Capitol building dying can you tell me why donald trump didn't stop them if they weren't doing exactly what he wanted to do why did donald trump and his crooked lawyer Giuliani make phone calls to lawmakers inside of Congress telling them, hey, maybe you should delay the uh, vote. Maybe you should push it back a few days. Why did he do that if that wasn't exactly what he wanted his protesters to do? How do you know? What I, I'm going to re-ask the same. Just so you know, the conversation exactly. is over right here until you answer that question or give me an alternative thing. I'm not answering another I'm not playing this game. You have to tell me what was the point because it seems incredibly obvious. Donald Trump gave a speech. They went to the Capitol. They broke in. They delayed the they delayed the certification of the vote, which is what Donald Trump apparently wanted them to do. And for hours, while they protested, breaking windows, breaking doors, breaking on inside, he sat and he watched. And the only phone calls that he made while people were begging him to tweet to stop the violence were to try to pressure lawmakers to delay the vote. Tell me why he did that. Why did he wait for hours? Give me one pl possible explanation that doesn't satisfy well, my story. I'm not in his mind. I, I'm not a mind reader. I can't ascribe motivation to his thoughts that I don't have access to destiny. <laughs> oh, 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 that's great. What is your profession? What do you do professionally? What is uh, that's not relevant. OK, why do you think you do you think that we can't ascertain the state of mind of a person ever? Do you think it's just impossible? You earlier, you said that I was angry. How do you know that? Maybe this is how I always talk when I'm streaming. Why did you assume that I was no, angry? I've watched you stream. Like I, you, you, you speak fast, and you know you obviously come prepared. You have your talking points. So like you. Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. To be clear, you, none of these are talking points. Speak. If you want, we can spend. I'm streaming until I got four hours. So if you want, we can dig as deep, or I can even just link you because I've got whole documents that I've written on this whole scheme and this whole plot. I've read every single indictment from top to bottom. I've read every single criminal statute involved in the indictment from top to bottom and i've read basically every news article written about these indictments from top to bottom so no i don't have just talking points that's what you have when you say hillary clinton said that donald trump was an illegitimate president and also i have no idea what happened on january 6th or in the entire lead up to the insurrection for what donald trump did okay, so no so i don't have talking again, it's points an unfair statement it's an unfair statement to say i have no idea what's going on you didn't know anything I about have... the elect the whole scam do you know anything about mike eastman and the coup memo or what their plot was on january 6th what do you think donald trump was talking about when he said mike that pence needs to really come obscure that, obscure? that seems obscure to me. Oh, well, that's crazy that seems... because it was literally part of two of the massive indictments that Donald Trump is facing that he's probably going to get away from now because of the criminal immunity he's been granted. Do you think that the Jack Smith indictment is obscure? Do you think that the Georgia Rico case is obscure? Is it obscure unless it shows up in like a, a Twitter headline or a TikTok video for you? I don't use TikTok. Okay, where the f*** do you get your news from that the, the most important stuff that's happened in this country related to this election and, and the current ongoing criminal cases are obscure trivia to you. You know that like the federal government hosts these indictments for everybody to read, right? I They're not like hidden. That that's I, I would say that's obscure to a lot of people, people that aren't terminally online. Like terminally are, online? I'm sorry, hold on, yeah. hold on. You think that knowing what's in a federal indictment for a prior sitting president makes you terminally online? No, I Okay, hold I on, wait, wait, wait. That... Can you admit that what you just said was beyond stupid, right? Tell me, it is actually reasonable that it, maybe for, I'll let you slide because you're a 
Canadian retard, okay? But for an American citizen that's There's voting, no, maybe, maybe, like this. well, you're Canadian you're, and you are retarded. I'm just calling it as I say it, okay? Can, can you, can, it is, it is I'm reasonable that an American, I don't care, I don't care. To I'm over, I'm, I'm so over it. To, Kat, I don't care. I don't care that you're trying to insult me or not. What you're doing is so much worse. You don't see how evil you are, okay? It is so much worse than calling me names. If you were more informed and then you were calling me names, I'd be fine with it. That's okay. I don't give a fuck. I'm done with the civility bullshit where as long as you're speaking politely, you think that gives you carte blanche to act like the scum of the f***ing earth, okay? Can you tell me it is not unreasonable for an American citizen to be familiar with what is in a criminal indictment for a past president? That's not a terminally online thing to know. Can you admit that? Um, I have to disagree. I think most people don't sit there reading through indictments. Okay, who do you think should? Maybe the people that are spoon-feeding you the news that you can maybe at least they should have to read it, do you think? What do you mean people spoon feeding me news? People can consume news however they however they practice. Like, sure, but I mean it's obvious for your news consumption you look at a you look at a media feed that feeds you headlines and then you read that and that's where your opinion is formed from. So the people that are feeding you those headlines, don't you think at least they no, should have read I, the I indictments? Can, no, just one second. Just one second. I don't need news headlines. Um I can assess information for myself when I see it. What is the you, last you, piece of original, no not digested be, information no that you've that read? Condescending about no, it. I, you like, deserve to be condescended me. to. My country is, is having an ex-insurrectionist, okay, try to run for president, and you support him. So no, I think it's okay for me to be highly critical no, of how I you get your news, and you don't know anything about it, but you have a strong opinion about it. I don't understand where you people come from. I don't know why you would be so confident that you think it would, like, what do you think I do all day that you're confident enough to come in here knowing absolutely nothing about anything that's happening? They're like, okay, well, I'll go and have a reasonable conversation with this person. Okay, so I don't think you're having a reasonable conversation with me. I think you're being extremely rude. I've been respectful to you. Um, I've indulged in clicking on a link that you've asked me to look at. I've agreed with some of your points. Um, I disagree on your assessment. Uh, you know, I, I just don't, like, I see you, you know, become extremely dysregulated and and you don't even know me, and you're telling me that, you know, you're telling me all these things about me, that I'm this and I'm that. Like, I just, I don't think that is, you know, a productive conversation. I, I told you're, you you're, what I, you're beyond having a productive conversation. Also, you're not the first. You won't be the last woman to use a psychological term on me. Don't worry. I'm uh, immune to it at this point. Um, you, you have no term? dysregulated. Uh, the fact it, that you have no concept, the fact that you have no concept of any of the any of the stuff that's even in the criminal indictments. Do, do you understand how absolutely infuriating that is? That people don't even know what our president or our ex-president was charged with. They don't even know. Well, you don't think that's insane? Like, like, I, to like I told you, uh, there's people who follow this case 24-7. Hold on, um, excuse me. No, well, hold on. You don't get to characterize my position as follow the case well, 24-7. You, you got to characterize mine. Wouldn't what was I? Fair? What was I incorrect about? Well, you, you were using ad hominem attacks to, you know, discredit my viewpoints. And I was not I using. I discredited your viewpoints by saying how stupid they were, and then I pointed to the fact they probably happened because <laughs> you're, of your but, news conception. I'm sorry. Wait, what point of yours do you think that I didn't discredit on a substantive basis? Just because I'm calling you names doesn't mean I'm engaged in ad hominem. I can both call you names and substantively disagree with the things that you say. Can you give me one no, thing I you said that you feel like I haven't substantively? Ad hominem is calling someone names and calling them stupid. No, I'm sorry, ma'am, but an ad hominem is when you dismiss a person's argument by appealing to a personal attack. If I say, you're wrong because of yeah, XYZ that's dipshit, that's not an ad hominem. That's just me calling you a name after substantively disagreeing with you. So if, you, if there's a point that you feel like you made that I didn't address, feel free to tell me and I will address it. Okay, as I said, uh, I, I don't think there's such a need for insulting me. Um, that's... I don't think that's called for, but maybe we can just agree to disagree on that. Uh, ad hominems don't help, don't help in my opinion, but um, yeah, I'm <laughs> I wasn't prepared for you, you being like as, as angry as you are. <laughs> I, that was, do you understand like that said, from my perspective, uh, we are looking at a decent chance of the next president being a guy who, at least from my point of view, launched an insurrection against the government. That's where we're at right now, and everybody around the world is so interested in defending this traitorous scum f okay? And then when I press them on it, okay, whether it's you, whether it's the uh, Constantine guy who throws his Ukrainian family under the bus to suck off 
Putin, whether it's what? Tim okay. Pool, whose penis is wrapped so f***ing tightly filthy. around his f***ing head that he can't process Destiny. more than one or two sentences, okay, without saying something, right? That all of these Destiny. people, hold on, Constantine all of these people, not... all of these people, he's subhuman scum, okay? That all of these people are interested in defending this guy, and nobody knows the substance of any of what he's even charged with. Are, do you, are do you understand people... Do you understand how frustrating that is? As an American who has an invested in, a vested interest in seeing his country at least not turn into an authoritarian dictatorship? I think it's far-fetched to say that if Trump is re-elected through the Electoral College, like you said, uh, would be, um, what was the word that you just used? Like, Authoritarian uh, dictatorship. dictatorship. Why do you think it's yeah. far-fetched? Well, because, like I said, I don't believe he acts like a dictator. You don't? Well, okay. How not? Do you think well, that, for instance, do you think a dictator would try if, to prevent if, the peaceful transfer of power? I don't think he was trying to prevent the peaceful transfer of power. He called for peace. He called for law and order. He said, we are for law and order. So, so every me, single, that, every single violent protester, right. that was just random that they all went and violently protested the certification of the electoral does, vote. Does, well, okay. <laughs> oh, she's about to do the BLM saying, thing. She's going to go, what about BLM? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Do it. Do your no, what about no, no, no. I'm just going to ignore it. So go ahead. No, you're not getting ignored. Although BLM did mostly peacefully protest with fires in the streets. Hold on. Do you agree that BLM was mostly peaceful? <laughs> no. You're, a, you're I, an actual I, subhuman trash. You think that the majority of the BLM protests were violent? I saw a lot of America burn under BLM protests. Yeah, you, what do I you saw... care and know about America? You have no idea what the f*** you're talking about. You think the majority, there were like millions and millions of people protesting for, for like a year. You think the majority of those were violent? You're actually deranged. If you think that, I, I don't even know. No, I'm sorry. I didn't I, say majority. I said you, I, I asked saw you, BLM protests that were violent. I didn't ask were, what you saw on YouTube. Fire. I didn't say I'm asking there you that the majority of them were violent. And uh, and anchors from outlets that were reporting on the ground, such as CNN, I believe it was. Yeah, I know. Said, I saw the same uh, one. Yeah, I saw the same meme image. Don't worry. I've tweeted out before. It was real funny. Yep, I've seen it. Fiery, but mostly peaceful. Do you disagree that it? Do you do you agree that you can call a protest that involves burning down police stations and streets and storefronts and where you know people have to put up signs saying we're a black-owned business, please don't burn us down. We support Democrats. Don't smash our windows. Do you think you can call that mostly peaceful? You know what, Cat? Whatever I would call that, I would never utter it in front of you because you don't even deserve to get that concession. You don't even deserve to have me accurately assess that okay, when you so won't even. I don't know don't when you won't even when you won't even for a microsecond. Why the f if you're on the left should you admit to or concede to any of these things when you delusional, unhinged, cowardly, spineless okay, if, won't if even admit to what happened on January sixth? Like the it's like the most open. <laughs> case in the world the thing that when donald trump okay. tries to defend himself he says i need destiny. criminal immunity destiny. to not be in trouble here right so no destiny. i'm not even going to concede to a blm thing okay god bless the protesters okay they can go fight with the with the uh, with the white <laughs> nationalists in the streets and they can all go and you know have fun with each other at this point destiny destiny um okay thank you for that tirade uh do you do you see anyone that okay you say i'm not worthy of a response to to the blm protest um why don't you uh, have do you see anyone in the room that's quote worthy of discussing that point with you maybe you can i'm not i didn't i didn't come here room. to discuss the blm protest so no i'm not here to discuss that okay well, i'm here to discuss the to discuss, the, okay. the stuff related to donald trump and the insurrection that's what i came here to discuss if anybody here okay, wants to jump on that to... then sure yeah we can talk about it someone was talking about blm protest at some other point we can but i would probably agree okay, with most sure. of them but the difference is, is the left is generally willing to critique their side the right is beyond critique you guys are incapable you're unfathomable uh no, when it comes to critiquing your so own side true. it I, is it's absolutely true seen, no i have seen people criticize oh shut the no, you haven't. Please stop. Yes, please, please shut the fuck up. You absolutely have not. <laughs> uh, one tweet, one tweet to... where somebody's like, oh, well, I didn't agree when Donald Trump had, you know, a blue tie on instead of his normal red power tie. It's not a true critique. Okay, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay, you don't have to swear at me. Like, <laughs> Then don't act like a fucking moron. Don't act like an like, idiot. No, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like not, the right I'm criticizes acting, itself, okay? I'm not acting like an idiot, Destiny. Like, you don't, you don't okay, have then to you are an idiot so, or whatever, and it's coming out naturally. My, whatever, however you want to phrase it, my bad. <laughs> Okay, so if it, okay, forget about the BLM. You don't want to talk about that. Fine. Uh, you I think didn't. I'm, well, hold on. I didn't say I didn't want. I said I didn't come here to talk about it. If somebody wants to do BLM okay, debate at okay, some point or whatever, okay, we could do it. it. But okay, I didn't come here I to talk about BLM. Point. I take it back. I, you said you didn't come here to talk about BLM. Acknowledge that. Fine. No problem. Oh, um, if you, if you let me finish, uh, can you 
discuss these points with someone who you think is worthy, who maybe has for the a insurrection platform, stuff. Or? You can yeah, you can voice as many fucking people as you want in here. One hundred percent, sure, go for it. Okay, so we have some speakers in the room. They're willing to chat. So, uh, you know, whoever, if you want to put your hand up, we see there's Lauren, there's well, Clint. He came up first, so. Yeah, I just had a, a quick question for Stephen because you know his his screenshots. I'm blocked, so his screenshots of his tweets yesterday have been going viral, and I, I'm just genuinely curious if he is at all concerned with the trajectory of political violence escalating. Um, you know the. His reaction, his immediate reaction, well, I, I imagine that much of it was in jest. Um, it's obviously very inflammatory. I'm personally concerned about the the climate in this country. I think that we're inching ever, ever more closely to a potential, you know, civil war or something crazy like that. Uh, is that a, is that a concern? I mean, you talk about insurrection, you talk about the dangerous precedent of Donald Trump and and where this is all headed. Are, are you open to political violence at this point? Because it seemed like it, and I don't. I, that doesn't strike me to be your character, so I wanted to clarify. I am very concerned about political violence in this country and the like road to political violence, and you conservatives have been screeching for it nonstop. So I'm not going to be the, the cuck on the left. <laughs> Do you guys your guys' terms? I'm not going to be the cuckold on the left who is crying and screaming for, uh, pump the brakes, guys, no, uh, no violence, it's civility time, blah, blah, blah. While you guys on the right engage in the most absurd forms of reality denialism. Uh, while you guys say that uh, January 6th was a peaceful protest, when you guys say, oh, the Whitmer thing, uh, that was all the FBI. Uh, the pipe bomb stuff, oh, that was all fake. Uh, the uh, Like, you guys won't take responsibility for f***ing anything. And you're supporting, literally, the most divisive f***ing president in all of recent history. And you guys are saying, well, it's just epic and hilarious when he owns the libs. And when you've got Biden, who is like, when it comes to rhetoric, the most milk toast f***ing guy in the world, I don't even know if this guy has a mean bone in his body and the only picture i see of him posted over and over and over again is him with a close-up shot where there's red white and blue lights in the background and it's just the red and you pretend that he's a dictator F you i'm not gonna be the one calling for the oh guys we've got to be civil like no violence uh, no that's retarded you guys can lead the way on that one because you sure as led the way on getting us to where we are now all right well steven you debated me last year in tennessee i was I ran for vice president of the Libertarian Party. I'm not a conservative at all. So, uh, well, your tirade may land with a different audience. It's not going to work on me. Really? Hold uh, on. Wait, I I'm sorry. Who, who are you supporting this election? Who am I supporting? I haven't I haven't declared any support. Really? What are you, what are you leaning to? If I were to go through your Twitter, how many critiques have you made of Donald Trump versus how many critiques have you made of Biden? What do you think if I were to guess? <laughs> Well, seeing as Biden's the president, it would probably be a lot more critiques towards the sitting president. Oh, yeah, but not the one that's coming in that's running for president that was also a president for four years? I've been very critical of Donald Trump. <laughs> so. I'm sure. Yeah, okay. The na name of my show is Liberty Lockdown. I'm very, very disappointed in, in the 2020 era. So uh, odds of me supporting Trump openly or otherwise are pretty slim. But <clears throat> setting that aside, I'm glad to hear that you are concerned about political violence in this country. I, I just, at the same time, I don't understand your rhetoric yesterday or your response to the violence, you know, basically applauding the the loss of a voter <laughs> for Donald Trump in Pennsylvania. It's uh, it strikes it's me as callous, to put yeah, it mildly. Not as hard as it struck that guy. Um, just curious. So I'm just looking through your Twitter, OK? You said it, it is a tremendously fraudulent case brought against the leading candidate to be the next president. Uh, you thought which of the four cases against Donald Trump do you think are fraudulent and why? Well, first off, I would say that the <clears throat> FBI document case in Mar-a-Lago, given that, you know, Biden is guilty of the same crime, if it is one, I think that one's fraudulent. OK, just um, curious on that case. What is the crime? It was <clears throat> I think it was uh, holding confidential documents after he left the White House, right? You understand there's an intentionality aspect to that, right? You have to intentionally take and then knowingly hold classified information out of a skiff. It's not just like accidentally taking it, right? You understand that a lot of what Donald Trump is charged for in the Mar-a-Lago stuff is obstruction of justice because he told his employee to hide documents from NARA and then the FBI, right? Or did you not know that because you haven't read that indictment, but you have a strong enough opinion about it to tweet about it? I mean, that was a, a lot of an assertion without actually allowing for me to answer. Uh, yeah, I realize that there's intentionality. Do you think that there was no intentionality with, uh, with Biden having hundreds of documents at his house? I'm just saying that the two cases aren't comparable. The huge aspect of what Trump is being charged with is the obstruction charge, because he told his okay. employee to do you, hide do documents. Do you think it's at all at all odd that that there would be this level of investigation into Trump, but not into Biden? 
I honestly, I do think that the Trump stuff was really odd. I think the FBI should have kicked his door down a year earlier. I don't know why the f they waited so long. They gave him a year to turn those documents over to NARA. And he, he, he shunned them. He ignored them. He lied to them. And he had his employee move boxes around, okay, like a f***ing ferret running through a maze before the FBI finally caught wind that there was some bullshit going on. Do you think that NARA yeah. didn't give him enough time to respond? Why do you think he didn't turn the documents over when they asked? OK, same question for you. Why do, why do you have zero concern about Biden possessing classified documents, but you're totally up in arms over Trump? I don't understand. I'm going to keep asking until you answer the question. Why do you think Donald Trump waited a full year to turn those documents over to NARA? I don't know. Why do you think he told his employee to hide them? I don't I haven't seen that that's been proven that he told his employee to hide them. What's the evidence for that? It's literally laid out in the indictments from recorded conversations. Or do you think the FBI is just making it all up? Well, the it FBI did. The FBI did lie to the FISA court to spy on his campaign before he entered the White House. So, yeah. So you think they made everything the up in the indictment? Oh, OK. Well, in that case, I then I don't think they made up everything. OK, wait, wait. I don't think they made up everything. Well, then what do you I, think I, but, about why do you think? Why, why should I trust the FBI? OK, then don't. Then I don't know why the I'm talking to you. If you don't trust any of the institutions or any of the investigative bodies, why did you why did you say anything about EW? You should open with that. You should say, no, Destiny, I only trust what I read on Twitter. I don't trust anything from any of our three letters. I don't trust those guys. Just open with that next time, and then we don't have to waste any time, like, you know, on some factual I already factual told you analysis. I'm a libertarian, so you could have assumed that. True, that yeah. you're retarded because it's basically one and part and parcel the same. Okay. You don't need to insult people. I don't understand why you need to do that. Okay, let's take a question. Uh, Sharika Sol, Sol has her hand up. Sharika, you can un unmute yourself. Destiny, I just have to say that you are an adult male and the way that you're talking to some of the women in here, well, Kat specifically, is actually really disheartening to listen to. Also, I am black and I'm kind of tired of white liberals denying the violence in the black community and using Black Lives Matter, specifically protests, who, by the way, black, the black neighborhoods that have the protest they end up being destroyed and trashed. And it's not you that comes to the neighborhoods and helps clean up those neighborhoods after a protest. So for you to speak on Black Lives Matter protests and say they're not violent or whatever you were trying to say is disrespectful, it's disingenuous, especially to black women who have to live in those neighborhoods and the black children. Uh, thank you as a black woman for showing up to show that retardation can transcend both gender and race. I'm not uh, retarded, you're uh, the white yeah. man. I don't know why the what do you think I'm speaking out for BLM? This conversation is about BLM. I don't know why the why don't we even hold the talking to right now. Stop cussing. I can cuss whatever I want. What do you mean? I can say whatever the fuck I want. It's freedom of speech. Because it's Twitter. disrespectful. Disrespectful to what? This is my. This is this is in your black Twitter black space. You're not here to tell me what I can say or not say. Black lives matter out of your mouth. I can call BLM. 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 Black people need me. I I'm gonna be the white savior for BLM. I love BLM. I'm the leader of BLM. I'm the self appointed leader of BLM. Oh yes, I love BLM. Oh yes, Black Panthers. I'm gonna join it right now. Oh BLM. 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 Keep it real. I am keeping it real. Black men are violent towards black women, and we don't need people like you constantly using us for political talking points. Mind your own business and quit talking about a race that you don't know nothing about. We don't know you. BLM, BLM, You're not BLM, in our BLM, neighborhood. BLM, 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 BLM. Are you lost? Are you lost right now? How did you even wander in here? Are you okay right now? Mental uh, distress, and you need to get on medication and stop okay. talking to women crazy. Okay. You only talk like that because you're behind a screen. If you were there and she had a whole bunch of men standing by her, there's no way you would keep talking to her like that. You're a punk. Okay. Grow Thank up. you, Sharika. Thank you so much for your valuable contribution. Okay. Noted. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's try to keep it civil, guys. Let's just try to speak with each other but not talking over each other. It's hard to hear when, you know, She's trying to speak and you're just going BLM, BLM, and we can't understand you guys. You know, it's hard to hear. I'm sure you know this. Like, I, I shouldn't have to explain that, but one at a time would probably be best. And m maybe if you didn't come to speak about BLM, you don't have to, you don't have to speak about it. If you don't want to, Destiny, that's fine. Well, as um, a self-appointed leader of the BLM chapter in my city, uh, I felt it necessary pardon? to say I am the self-appointed leader of the BLM chapter in Miami. Self-appointed? So. Yes. Do you think BLM, does BLM start for, stand for large mansions, buy large mansions? Do you know about that? Yep, I got the largest one, and I only invite my <laughs> white friends to hang out in it. Can't you at least just, like, laugh laugh it off without being so angry? Like this I'm is, not angry. You know, I'm being very serious right now. None of what I right say now. will impact you, you know, in any meaningful way. So can, we, can we at least, like, bond over a mutual disdain for Pearl Davis? Like, come on. 
Maybe. Maybe? Just like lighthearted maybe? That's okay, that's progress. I'll take that. I'll take that. I, I, I like that. Okay, um, does anyone else want to jump in to say anything or to ask a question? Hey, Lauren. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'll make a comment. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> Listening to this, I will say I think there is a serious problem on the right right now. Uh, not just the right, politics in general, with people not actually reading the documents, people getting their information from memes. I actually do think it's a little atrocious that from my side of the political spectrum and what I read on my timeline, I don't hear more about the Trump indictments and the actual documents going forward. Fair point. I think Fair that's point. going to be something I'm going to be doing going mm -hmm. forward is actually reading those indictments because I think it's important for when debates like this happen. And Kat, we can read them together. We'll go over it together. Do a little Sounds study good. Session. I'm in. I'm in. But I will, I will also say this disregard of actual research that is pervasive in the political sphere is the same reason I got cancelled and called a genocide denier for stating that no bodies existed in the alleged indigenous mass graves in Canada. I'm sure a lot of people remember that story. None were ever found, but that lie still persists. And, you know, oh, the yeah. churches burned to the ground and the country put into havoc millions and millions of dollars of our tax money spent on this cause. And all because a bunch of people decided to believe memes over doing actual research. And I get being upset about it. Believe me, I was upset about it. I had uh, death threats in my inbox, threats towards my family, my children. And this is genuinely destroying our countries and democracy, this low information kind of engagement with politics. But, but I'm also aware that the people who haven't done enough research, haven't done enough reading on these subjects, aren't necessarily evil and shouldn't be discounted entirely, even if they're the ones that are sending me threats. I apologize. I'm in an airport right now. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. We can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah. So, you know, in some cases, these people are my family, my lifelong friends that I've had that completely disagree with me on these topics that I think are sometimes ill-informed on these subjects. And I think that... Uh, they're deserving of respect to some degree, to some level, just because yeah, my think... country has been defrauded by our government into believing mass graves and genocide exist that didn't happen and I've received threats. You know, I, that doesn't mean I have to treat every leftist cruelly nor laugh or mock or celebrate if they, uh, they are killed, especially when they're innocent and we're just showing up to a rally. And I think there's a yeah. much better approach than the one that Stephen has been taking, particularly when... Uh, you know, I think the fact that this guy was tweeting of... out uh, Putin worship was makes it the most hilarious like misfire that could have possibly shot, happened <laughs> he deserved to get shot i didn't say he deserved to get shot i'm just saying he doesn't deserve any sympathy for it okay and it might warn a laugh or two i think you'll find that people care a lot more what you have to say when you acknowledge that they might be human that they have some integrity that you can kind of show a little bit of respect i mean you've got family members that would agree with this guy i don't think you laugh at them being shot i want my mom and dad taught me around and find out as like a first principle of how to navigate the world so if so they if ended up going to a that, rally like this want... cheering for a insurrectionist dude or whatever yeah they deserve it 50 times over they served in the air force they know better they took an oath to the constitution to serve this country not to serve a fucking king why the fuck? i don't know why you guys asked me this Wait, question like what have been happening here what have happened to your parents yeah if they went to a crazy rally like this and something happened to them it would be sad i'd probably personally sad but what the fuck am i going to say like what do you what do you expect to happen Wait, you think, you think attending a political is rally king? is a can fuck around and find out scenario. Come I think on. that supporting a prior president that engaged in insurrection. Yeah, I'm tired of pretending like that's just like a, a normal, ordinary thing that you're supposed to accept as, as an American citizen. That's unhinged. That is Justin, insane to me. I have a question. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do, do you honestly think that people, despite like, yes, I have seen the tweets mentioning the word king. Do you think people want him as king for real? Yes. You don't think yes. that you do? Yep. Like what? What causes you to make that conclusion? Except show me a single conservative commentator that had anything critical to say about the criminal immunity case. Show me one that even read half okay, of it actually. But show me one. Find me one, and maybe I'll believe you. Maybe. No, 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 no. no. Just one sec. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about your belief that his supporters, the Trump supporters, uh, would literally make him king if they could. Yes. They literally so, call him Emperor Trump. Yeah, it's all a joke. It's just a meme, the LOL. That fight for, so the people that, that believe they're fighting for freedom and to preserve the constitutional republic that is the United States, uh, you know... No up, one like, is, no one gives a... Hold on a sec. Hold on. Can I just finish? I know yeah. you're really skilled. You're really good at it. You're, no, it's just that you just don't know anything about like, point. like Donald Trump literally has tweets on like True Social saying he wants to suspend the Constitution. And you're asking me, you don't think the people that are supporting him in the Constitutional Republic, are they want a king? You, <laughs> okay, 
I, I, okay, can I, I'll just restart. So, once again, like, so the, the people that, you know, champion, when, for example, on, on issues that are not related to the subject, they say, you know, give it back to the states because the states should have the power to say they, they voted for, for example, on abortion. Like they say they give it to the states. Is that not them upholding, uh, you know, the constitutional republic and the, the, no. the process? No, it's the because they states? like the idea it, of. <laughs> can, can, yeah, let me answer the question without, without, without it being like a rambling, like 50 question question. Okay. And then you ask me the next question you want. Okay. No. When they okay. say throw it back, find me a single conservative who is excited about throwing abortion back to the states as they are about supporting the right for sanctuary cities to exist. And then I'll believe you. No, conservatives don't get off about states' rights. Absolutely not. They only support it in this case because in the, they know that it'll mean less abortion than what there were. There, yeah, that it'll mean less abortion rights than there were before. That's the only reason they support it. Stephen, real quick, man. You, you said that. Basically, because Donald Trump is an insurrectionist, attending his rally is supporting, uh, you know, a fascist dictator or whatever, and ultimately it's a around and find out scenario. Uh, you'd have to then extrapolate that logic to believe that the 70 plus million people that voted for him are are also guilty of supporting them, and therefore a fair game and in a fuck around and find out scenario. So, am I misreading here? Are you saying that all of these people are open to assassination? I wouldn't say open to assassination. I'm just saying that if it happens, there should be zero f-ing sympathy for anybody involved. So, is, so you this believe is, that this is, this is, hold on, just to be clear, the, half of hold the country on. deserves no sympathy. Really? Ex- yes. Yes. When half of the country is supporting an insurrectionist. Wow. Yes. Democracy only works. And if you're a, a liberal, I don't even know what the actually I don't know what you are. Uh, if, if, if democracy only works when the people are working to actually like protect it. Uh, and when half the people in the country are supporting somebody that is undemocratic, then no, I'm not going to sit here and, 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 you know, shed tears for people that end up being the victims of their own insane f-ing ideology. No, this is stupid. Why would I waste my time? There are way better things to cry over, like how f-ing horrible Game of Thrones turned out. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and lose sleep over dipshits that are getting off as they engage in like insurrection of supporting rhetoric. That's f-ing crazy. Just on a personal note, man, I really feel like you've lost your humanity. <laughs> I'm I know, and that's you, great, honestly. and I wish that, and maybe one day, I don't know, maybe if you guys grow up a little bit, maybe you'll know this, saying the most disgusting, horrible shit that you can in a polite tone of voice is one of the most horrible things that you can do as a human being. And the idea that just because you calmly and politely suggest that a guy that tried to overthrow the republic ought to be president, and that's a respectable opinion, because you say it with a low voice, is, is beyond redemption to me. It's disgusting. Okay, so you th- you think we're disgusting? You think we're a basket of deplorables? Okay, I have a I have a question that's sort of related. Um, I see that uh, a person named uh, Chase Geyser challenged you to a lawful duel under the Texas Penal Code, twenty two point oh six. I'm not sure what that means, but then it looks like you blocked him after that. Was there? Did you not want to discuss uh, that particular subject with him because? You what, think I'm not, he's why would I accept a lawful beyond? duel with somebody? <laughs> Beyond, well, because I, I, you know, because he seems like he would maybe be more equipped to, to, to talk about the things that you've read yourself. Maybe he If he wants to talk about well. something, then sure, we can talk. Why the f*** am I going to ch- accept a f- duel? That sounds f- retarded. Okay, well, I think that was just his way of saying, can we chat about it? Like, maybe I said it politely and in my soft, disgusting tone that you don't like, but, you know, he, he was... If he wants to I chat, yeah, sure, drag debate. him in. I, I don't know why we would assume that means debate. Um, I don't know why when why Donald not? Trump says we need to fight like hell to take our country back, you would say, well, that doesn't really mean anything. But when another guy says uh, penal code 112, whatever the fuck, challenge you to a do all that, like, I don't know. If you want to drag him in and he wants to chat, we can. But no, it seems like we're just spamming. You just, like, well, shit post people that, if they want to do it. I don't think I can br- bring him in. Um, What's the guy's name on Twitter or whatever? Hold on one sec. I'll let you know. Chase. Oh, yeah. I saw the Info Wars, too. So I know that he's like an actual fucking retard as well. Is everyone everyone a retard? Because people that are on Info Wars are all retards. Yes. Like if that guy would have been in the audience, like the bullet would have went one in hole and out the other. And there would have been no damage done. That's how stupid anybody that works on Info Wars is. Yes. Okay. I disagree with that assessment. but I'm sure you do. Okay. Um, So, okay. So. You didn't want to talk to him because... No, if he wants to chat, sure, go for it. Can, he's from InfoWars. I unblocked him okay. if he wants to chat. I just said he's stupid. <laughs> I talk to stupid people for a living. That's, why I, that's how okay, I make my I have, living, yeah. I have a quick question. Well, you got to give you props for doing the living with, for, with, with what you're doing. That's you're pretty successful. So hats off to you for being successful at what you do, I guess. <laughs> um, sorry, did I hear someone chiming in? Yeah, I just decided to... 
shut up, like holding my hand up too long for a high five. <laughs> um, Go for it, Lauren. Yeah, Stephen, you tweeted out earlier a sand tweet in which he said that um, every day you've got Republicans calling for concentration camps and something along those lines, and you liked it both and shared it. Uh, can you name a single Republican with an ounce of political power or any sort of sway that has uh, called daily for concentration camps? I'm pretty sure Hassan's tweet there, if I had to guess, it was in reference to the uh, border policies that Donald Trump has where we were separating people at the border and then keeping them locked up in facilities that were understaffed. Pretty sure that's what that reference is Do you is think to. that those are concentration camps? Um, I mean, definitionally, they might have been. I'm not sure. Probably. I don't know. I wouldn't call them that. But do you think I mean, you just liked and shared a tweet referring to them as concentration camps. Do you think they are concentration camps or not? I don't think that I'm going to uh, account for the exactness of a particular insult that's used against a side that doesn't even acknowledge what happened on January 6th. So if there was a person that wanted to critique the particular way that a word or term or definition is used, it sure as wouldn't be somebody on the right. Absolutely not. Well, I thought your whole qualms with all of this is that the right-wingers aren't actually reading the documents. They don't understand. No, my qualms with right-wingers is they are anti-American. They don't support the Constitution. They don't support the country that they're a part of and that they engage in patterns of conceptual and precise pieces of misinformation in order to spread the lies and the mischief and whatever the f*** else they do online. It's not over whether okay, or not well, they use a particular term right or wrong in a thing. It's the fact that they'll come on and they'll talk about criminal indictments and insurrections without being familiar with any of the underlying material. That's my issue. Well, luckily, I'm a Canadian. I know you've got a Canadian asking you. Don't worry, there's a lot of them in here. Concentration camps. And it sounds like you're just going to be uh, out here tweeting inflammatory rhetoric with. Right now? Yeah, guys. basically. Am. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. you don't even believe in. You don't think they're concentration camps. I think it was funny. It was but funny enough okay. to. It was funny enough to. Uh, yeah. It's your side. You, well, that, that's, that, that's side, the right? rules of discourse that the right has said. So, yeah, why not have a little bit of fun? They can't I mean, have all the fun in this country, right? I think that's why a lot of people usually respect you is because you don't usually accept those rules of discourse, whether it be right or left. I mean, well, unfortunately, like when you're a grown up now, and you live in the and you live in the whole world, you kind of have to accept. Listen, I've seen enough of your tweets to know you have to accept. If somebody were to go up to you and say, Lauren, why do you have uh, so many problems with housing or immigration in Canada or whatever? Uh, and then you're like, well, I've got issues because of X, Y, and Z. Well, hold on. That's just their opinions. Like, you don't have to play by their rules. You don't have to worry about uh, the changes that they impart on your country. You can just do your own thing. No, that's not how it works here. OK, this is like the rules of discourse and the rules of media reporting, and the rules of accountability that the right is set. So I'm not going to have the right hold me to some different standard that they themselves don't even begin okay, so to approach be just as moronic as the people you think you're criticizing i don't That's think i'm just as it's not about being moronic it's about being anti-american it's, it's about being opposed to democratic rule That's of fine. law That's yeah fine. But that's funny. I mean, you can pretend it's the same. Yeah. No, that's cool. That's good. Yep. It is. It's the exact same. It's the exact. Calling uh, calling separation of families at the border a concentration camp. That's the exact same thing as saying January sixth. What was that? Didn't he say mostly so peaceful? You know, <laughs> I think it's wild. I think it's wild that America has concentration camps. In fact, I'd say. Not trying to get this president out of office, that would be anti, you know, anti-democratic. It's your duty to get this president out of office if he is running concentration camps at the border, right? I mean, that's what Republicans are saying worse than that now. So I don't know why oh, no, you no, think no, you're no, making no, a point. <laughs> we have Rob with his hand up. Rob, I've invited you as Speaker Rob Knorr. Uh, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, that is um, correct. Thank you so much. Edgelord Destiny, great to be here know that you really don't like people that are read up. So happy to beat you around on these subjects like always. Uh, to start with, I find most repugnant about what you're doing, not that you're an edgelord making jokes, but that you're a disingenuous sack of shit. Because as I've debated you in the past, you started talking before January 6th ever occurred about how the BLM riots were justified. It was just the other side of the coin of voting. Of course, once you realized that grift wouldn't do as well for you when you were debating the Rittenhouse shit, you completely 180'd your position. Hold just on, like just to be did. clear, wait, wait. I don't think I've ever supported violent riots against private property. I don't know if I've ever supported that in the US. The farthest my position ever went was if people wanted to violently riot against public property, that maybe that's defensible. I'm pretty sure that's the farthest I've ever gone, even prior to Rittenhouse. I don't know where that opinion comes from. I've always supported protests and even riots to some extent, as long as it's not against private property, but. That is exactly true. What you said to me was, even though you weren't sure how much of the pro violence was against private property versus public, but to the extent that the George Floyd riots were against public property, you said that that's fine. If you feel the system's not working for you, we're America, goddammit, and rioting's the other side of the coin to voting. Now, when that occurs on January 6th, all the- Did I ever, hold on, did I ever say rioting is the other side of the coin to voting? 
That's I a really strange that statement. Was, if I did, if I did, that's a really strange statement. But go ahead. Okay. I will try to find the clip for you. But you said that they were justified <laughs> at the time. Then what's even more egregious is your take on January 6th. You initially had said to at least one other person, a left-wing streamer, and on a panel that I was on, that it was absurd to think this was a serious attempt to overthrow the government by the riot that day. You basically alluded to the fact that because there were so many people that outnumbered the police, that it's clear if they really were trying to violently overthrow the government, they'd have taken far greater actions. Now you're suggesting that people that disagree with your new position, that this was clearly an insurrection, are people that are fucking around and should find out because they can't call it out. And what do you think is the difference? Most- yeah, sure. What do you think is the difference between then and now, Rob? There is no difference materially. There on is the a of the huge people. difference in what is- we knew publicly at the time. There is a huge difference in what was publicly known. You can go and you, I'm sure you've listened to me and Pisco argue about this at length on my channel. Yeah. I was massively against the concept of it being an insurrection originally until it came out that there were some Proud Boys people there that were trying to coordinate some shit. I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe. But then once all of the Trump stuff came out, absolutely. Absolutely. On Donald Trump's end, 100 percent, he was engaging in insurrection and he was utilizing the protesters to do as much. Now, whether or not all of the protesters themselves knowingly, even the ones that broke in, knew that they were part of an insurrection or not. I, at this point, I kind of lean towards yes, but I'm not like asshole. But Donald Trump, absolutely and unequivocally, yes. The difference is the actions that were taken by people that day are what would constitute an insurrection. And those actions have been on display for you to see the public evidence of the day of January 6th and all throughout after that. And you correctly came to the conclusion that it was a riot that got out of hand. Now, let's say that you think because of evidence, you you even specifically said, of course, there might have been some proud boy type people there LARPing. They might have done some bad shit. But the overwhelming majority of the people that were there It was not a serious attempt to overthrow the government. It was a riot. Now, let's say that you've since heard evidence of things Donald Trump did. That doesn't change whether the action itself was an insurrection. You have no evidence that Trump willfully told those people to go be violent. And in fact, the irony is... Hold on. Donald Trump invited all of those people to Washington to give a speech on the 6th at the same time that he had given Pence seven full slates of electors and pressured him to accept them, and then he sent them all to the Capitol building, I guess, hopefully, to protest to delay the certification of the vote, and as it was being delayed, he made calls to the lawmakers, continuing to try to delay the certification of the vote. And the people at the White House, or at the uh, Capitol building, were using violence as, as, as part of the protest slash riot. That's an insurrection. That is not an insurrection, and if you call that an insurrection and narrow the definition as such, then you would have to admit that things like May 31st, 2020, where there were violent left-wingers that, unlike January 6th, used lethal weapons, injured 47 guards, burned down a guard station, and attempted to get into the White House to the point where Trump had to be removed into a bunker, which then many on the left, including Joe Biden, mocked him for having to go to the bunker. That would also be an insurrection. And one of the points I want to Rob, just as a quick, is- just as a as a quick thing, okay? All right, this <laughs> is the difference between me and every single spineless on the right. If you were to give me an example of this, and if the examples were to lay out the criteria that I've set forth for an insurrection, what do you think I would say? Well, you know of this. I would think you would say that there are some sort of meaningless differentiations because no two situations will ever be completely analogous. Oh, okay. Well, that's not true. What I would say, and I'll say it right now, that's not true. It's funny that you think that there's a shortage of criticism for BLM or whatever on my side when that's one of the things I'm the most criticized for. That's hilarious. But no, if you were to show me that there was some organized group of people who were trying to circumvent or overthrow some government process, uh, and that they did so in a means that incorporated violence, I'd probably say, oh, wow, I guess that could probably qualify as an insurrection, too. Sure. That's probably what I would say, if if, I'm assuming I saw the evidence. Okay, then real quick, because the FBI decided not to have a massive task force because Democrats seemed to say it was mostly peaceful, the National Guard shouldn't be deployed, et cetera, et cetera, because that investigation didn't take place, use your best judgment. What do you think a bunch of violent lefties with Molotov cocktails attacking the White House, injuring 47 guards and burning down a guard station in an attempt to get into the White House? What do you think their motivations were? I have I truly have no fucking idea. I haven't looked into it at all. Right. Isn't it convenient? The FBI never investigates the things that occur on the Democrat side. And then you say, well, what can we do? We don't have the FBI never investigates. Hold on. I'm sorry. What did uh, what did Hunter Biden get convicted of for having drugs in a video? So then, bro, he would lie to a 4473 for a firearm. The, the, I, they never the hold on the FBI never investigates their own or Democrats or convicts them. What what was the whole f- 
uh, was it the, not Durham, what was the thing about Biden and the documents or whatever, that whole special counsel or whatever that was appointed by Merrick Garland, the Democrat DOJ? And I'm sorry, who did Donald Trump pardon? Every single person that got convicted that was part of him? How the f are you trying to say there's a double standard here that doesn't exist on the Republican side? You're insane, Rob. The rapidity in raising your voice is unimpressive to me. I could do it just as well. Do it then. Go knock yourself out. You, nonetheless, right? No, it's clear. For example, let's take those one by one. The investigation into Biden, it was covered up from the get-go. The only reason that it ever resulted in any charges was because two whistleblowers from the IRS out of the fact that the FBI was covering for this. Now we know the CIA was as well. Then a judge blew apart the sweetheart plea deal that was given to Hunter Biden. So with egg on their face, they charged him with the most meaningless crime that couldn't be connected to his father and their family, which was a gun charge when he was high, which I don't even think he should have been charged for. Was the it that, hold on, this happened under Donald Trump's administration. Wouldn't it have been his FBI? Yes, his same FBI that wanted an insurance policy and in preventing him. The same FBI that for four years leaked to the press and illegally spied on him? Yes. The, the same FBI, FBI the where Comey came out and he made statements to the press about Hillary's email usage in a totally unprecedented are manner? You, the same FBI that, that, that had Are you going to clown yourself on this again after <laughs> the last time I clowned you on this? Oh, you my God. You're wrong? Sure, everyone in the audience, me and Destiny went back and forth for over an hour on this. And the IG report showed that actually the reason that Comey did that and then had to come out later and reannounce the opening of the Hillary investigation was because the FBI intentionally sat on the fact that there were more emails on Anthony Rob, Weiner's this laptop. your entire argument hinges, and the same thing that you just put forth now, hinges on the idea that one or two whistleblowers can force the hand of a three-letter to make anything public, ignoring the fact that people like Julian Assange have been, like, fucking pushed out of the country for, like, over a fucking decade. You're telling me that the FBI or whatever, they're so fucking corrupt that they can engage in all this cover that they'd be pressured to uh to, to have one or two whistleblowers make the media like force them to release shit they can just ignore it and american minds move on in literally one week so you see how destiny laments when he's talking to left-wingers that don't understand the facts of the case how they're uninformed but when preston someone's more informed of these ig reports than him that show this is exactly what happened that comey himself admitted that the reason he came out was because there was this whistleblower that was going to come out and he was afraid that the fbi would have an albatross on their neck because the american people would be furious after the election to find out that there was an allegation that the fbi sat on evidence of hillary's potential criminality and he got blown up in that debate he knows it but he defaults to the these meaningless platitudes are saying, well, there could never be corruption from whistleblowers outing because if that was the case, then whistleblowers would have always outed or the FBI would have been more corrupt in taking care of them. It's nonsensical. And so furthermore, then let's go into the Herbert. Oh, I'll finish with this. The Biden business, the Hunter Biden business, what they didn't charge was the obvious FARA violations because they didn't want it to connect to Joe Biden. The fact that Hunter Biden was working with the spy chief of China with the executives in Burisma that were considered by Joe Biden himself to be corrupt foreign oligarchs and was lobbying to the United States and no doubt his father. Those are the crimes that aren't being charged. Okay, sorry, hold on. I was, uh, wait, I stepped away for a minute. I'm so sorry. I know that you were doing your whole uh, rant. Um, I'm very good at it. Relating to the insurrection stuff, do you agree that Donald Trump to get, tried to get seven false slates of electors? I would call them alternate slates, but yes. Hold on. They were not certified or appointed by the state legislatures. Do you acknowledge that? That they were fraudulent I, slates. That when they when they signed the papers that said that we assembled at City Hall and we are the or we are the state assembly and we are the duly appointed blah blah blah, that was a lie. They were fraudulent. I will say this. Unlike you, I will stay on the topic that you're desperately trying to change to because you're getting blown out on the other side. Hold on, yeah. excuse me. The whole point of this call wasn't to debate every I, single I, AGI I, report and everything that Rob Nor wanted to talk about. That was the up. point of this fucking call. The point of this you was up Hunter Biden. The you point of this, up. the, and then when the you get point, blown up. no, it's not about getting blown up. The point Wait, of this, not to no, interrupt the, each other. Let each other speak, please. I don't want to mute anyone because Destiny said you don't want to be muted. I'm trying to respect that wish because you agreed to come on and I really appreciate it. Can you guys just let each other finish sentences? Just like a little so bit more good. than you are. It's hard to hear you guys. Sure. The topic of this space, the thing that I came here to discuss was not every single prior AGI report. It was the uh, it was the Trump uh, insurrection stuff. That's that's what we were talking about with Kat. That's what I'm talking about right now. Do you think that Donald Trump did seven false slates of electors? I think he did alternate slates of electors that his team recommended as a legal strategy that that was a potential to go through because he felt that the election was fraudulently taken from him and that courts were unwilling to hear cases that he truly believed in. Would you support, okay, would you support President Biden if he sealed Team 6 Donald Trump? Because he thinks he's, a, no. he's legitimately thinks he, well, what if he legitimately thinks he's a threat to the nation? I would not support that. I would not have supported Donald Trump if he did the same to Joe Biden. Well, no, but you did support, why would you, why would you why support Donald you Trump? No, we don't need an analogy. We don't need an analogy. Why would you support Donald Trump creating false slates of electors? 
But so let's do the analogy. Would I support Joe Biden using a false slate of electors? No, it no. doesn't count now. It doesn't. Wait, no. Let me answer, please. I would be I would be pissed off. I would say that that's terrible. I wouldn't think that it's criminal. I think that what would happen would be that this was an attempt to have a legal challenge to the election that was a Hail Mary. I think that had Trump been successful and Mike Pence gone through with this, it would have went to the courts. The courts would have quickly said, we don't see evidence of any sort of cheating. Hold on, wait, 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 I'm sorry, wait, 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 one step at a time before you do your whole weird revision bullshit, okay? So you admit that the initial seven slates, those were not authorized by the state assemblies, right? I do believe that's the case, yes. Okay, so they were fraudulent. I don't know why you're saying alternate. Okay, they were just, just, just to be autistic, two of those out of the seven did specifically write on them that they were alternates to the main person and only to be brought in if, if it was found that they were the legitimate electors. Uh, I would have to read that. I that wouldn't trust. And don't know that, but yeah. uh, okay, I would have to go and read that. I definitely wouldn't trust hearing that uh, secondhand. But regardless, um, they were filled out. They claimed on the things. I guess maybe on two of them they didn't. So maybe five were uh, were false. Okay. When these were sent to the uh, when these were sent to Congress, the goal wasn't to have a legitimate debate over the election and whether or not there was voter fraud. The they were trying to commit fraud, Rob. Right? They weren't looking to have a substantive debate on the floor about whether or not voter fraud had occurred. They were trying to push their own fraudulent electoral votes. No, that's not true. What was occurring was that, you tell me then, but, but, but if this would be the easiest way to do it. Let's say Mike Pence accepts the alternate slate. What would happen then? Well, nobody knows. Eastman says that Eastman was he, he had several different plans for what could have possibly happened. He could have said that he's accepting the seven alternate slates. Um, he's going to cut short, I think, the time that the floor can debate and he either accepts them um, or he throws it back to the House delegation and they make Trump the president. What would have happened would have been that it would have went to the court. It would have been basically a constitutional crisis that the court would have looked into. The court would have either found evidence of fraud or not. Most likely you would believe they wouldn't have. And the election would have went to Joe Biden. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm so sorry. This was not written in any of the Eastman memos. This wasn't the goal. The goal was to get the House delegation to make Trump the president or to get Pence to just choose the false elector slates and for him to make Trump the president. That was the goal. Right. And what would have happened would have been that it would have went to the Supreme Court. You don't know that. Why do you why do you why do you just assume that? It's clear. So you think what would happen with Pence would have just said Trump's president and everyone would have said, ah, shucks. I'd been it. What would well, let's say that let's say that Pence says Trump's president. And then Trump yeah. remains president. And then what? How does it go to the court? Who investigates that? The courts would have, as an emergency measure, taken the case immediately. Now, from, wait, wait, the wait, 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 wait. The courts would have taken the case from who? Would have taken the cases that the alternate electors were claiming that there was. Who brings the case, uh, Rob? The federal government is going to do it because Donald Trump is the head of the DOJ. Oh, horseshit. There would have been people that would have spoke up from not just the federal government, there were Democrat attorney generals, etc. But there would have been people outside, outside of that that would have demanded the courts hear this case. Who, you you, know you can't just demand a court hears a case. There has to be a plaintiff. Somebody has to file the complaint and bring the case in front of a court. It, courts they don't weren't. choose what they want to hear. Who has it standing been, besides the federal government? Who would have standing there? Well, who had standing anyways when it came to that? Wasn't that the issue you were okay with? When it came to not hearing cases from Texas, that no one had standing. These weren't about them. these weren't about the vice president in his official duties as head of the Senate. These were about di these were totally different cases. I don't know if anybody has stand. You're just the thing that I'm challenging. And by the way, I'm screaming at you. But it might have been maybe that uh, that a state maybe could have brought this case before the Supreme Court for the current one. I sure. Wouldn't have trusted them to hear it, but maybe they could have. But for you to act like it's a foregone conclusion that, oh, no, well, obviously any state could have gone before the Supreme Court and challenged the way that the certification went. You don't know that. Maybe that's the thing that only the federal government has standing to do. I don't know for um, in the Constitution if the states have the right to challenge how the federal government certifies the election. That sounds like something that would be outside of the purview of the states. I think that it's quite clear that the states would have, that a democratic state would have said that they had standing because they felt disenfranchised and the Supreme Court would have been willing to hear that. Well, really? There Texas tried that with Pennsylvania and the Supreme Court told them to kick rocks. So why would you yeah, assume but, that, why would you assume a state has standing to challenge how the federal government certifies its votes? Because what they told to kick rocks was the fact that one state doesn't have the right to say how another state adjudicates their elections. This would have been different because it would have had the federal government choosing to take a slate of electors that weren't chosen by, say, a Democratic state like, say, Arizona, right? Sure, that maybe, maybe, so maybe the seven states affected, maybe they could have brought the case, 
Maybe, but we don't. But for you to pretend that you know 100 percent that they would have had standing to do it, and that they would have heard the case, and that it would have turned out a okay that the Supreme Court would have sided with them, that in two weeks the Supreme Court would have made a decision, despite the fact that Donald Trump would also then be president. You don't know any of that. And also, look at how far gone you are. Look at how far gone you are. You're like, well, I mean, Trump could have stolen the election and, and essentially soft cooed the government. Uh, well, with violence, I guess it would kind of be an insurrection. But we'll just say soft cooed the government. Um, however, like maybe the Supreme Court would have heard it within maybe like a month or two or three, and then. Hopefully they would have ruled on the side of it would have had to have been what seven different conjoined cases. Then hopefully for every single case they present these correct. Like how long would this have taken? Like what, like look at how far gone you are. You're like okay, and then like ten months into the term, the president has to step down. Like it's unhinged. It's we'll, we'll let Rob respond, it's, and then we'll move on to some other uh, speakers sure. that have their hand up. Is that cool, it's, Rob? Is that yes, okay? I will be. I will okay. be. It's not that far gone. It's obvious that that would have occurred. It's not something that I supported. I thought there were court cases that should have been heard in places like Georgia and other places, Pennsylvania, where there were election challenges that should have been heard. But there was never definitive proof, and I was against Mike Pence signing off on those. He didn't. But I'm okay with for criminality for to try to attempt a legal strategy like this. This wasn't a coup that was near as damaging as what you have ignored which was the FBI's behavior towards Trump. What would the, the what would the uh, what would the criminality even be here? Who would be doing the criminal behavior? What criminal behavior? You're the one that's supporting Trump going to jail for this. No, no, I'm asking you like let's say it goes to the Supreme Court. What are they what are they even challenging? They would challenge whether or not the ultimate slate of electors were legitimate because there was actually fraud claims that were true. That the Supreme Court wouldn't have been holding a criminal case at that point. Hold on, My wait a second, wait a second. If you're arguing, hold on, let me, I'm just so I can be clear. You're saying yeah. that in an ideal world, it would have gone to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court would have looked at it, and then the Supreme Court would have ruled in favor of the states and having the correct slates of electors cho chosen? Correct. Then why the f did you call them alternate slates instead of fraudulent slates, Rob? Because their feel was that there was a legitimate, incorrect- When the f has that ever mattered? And if I feel like the bank owes me a million dollars and I go and rob the bank, can I use that as an affirmative defense in court? In Hawaii, when there was two slates of electors, was one fake? No, because both were authorized by the state, Rob. Are you aware of that? Th I am aware. But then why, wait, 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 wait. Why did you just bring up Hawaii? Wait, did you guys, think I didn't know guys. about it? No, no, hold on. Wait a second. Why did you bring up, wait, wait. Why did you bring up Hawaii then when we're talking about a presidential candidate that got seven false slates of electors certified in order to send to Congress? Why would you bring up Hawaii as a counterexample to that? I've talked to you about Hawaii. Then I why would you bring it up? Were, because guys, two, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to, sorry to interrupt. Um, we've been going. Okay, okay, here, wait, wait. Like, give, 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 like, give Rob the last word. Go ahead. Right. Pardon? I'll just say. Give Rob the last word and then we Roger. go. Ahead. Even though the states accepted it, as you know, each state could choose their own manner in which they adjudicate this. If a state wanted to have an issue with alternate slates of electors, that's one thing. The idea that it's a federal crime for Trump to suggest this is another. And the point I'm trying to make is what happened in Hawaii was they had to put that alternate slate because. The time frame on when these slates of electors had to be accepted was going to run out before they could do the recount that they found was necessary. And no one said that's fake slate of electors. The idea, what you seem to be implying is a fake slate is somehow that they were nefarious and lying and there was a chance that Mike Pence wouldn't have known. It's absurd. They knew which were the slate that was chosen by the states and those which weren't. And they know that those which weren't were protesting the election, which they had every right to do. It may have been ham-fisted. It may have been stupid optically, but it's not a criminal charge. And given what we saw from agencies that you supported for years, like the FBI illegally spying on Trump, that was more of a coup to this country than Trump's failed attempt to have the courts look at fraud from these election cases. Okay, we'll leave it there. We can revisit if people want to revisit that uh, further. Their hands up. I'd like to get to some of the hands. Uh, we have uh, Darwin, and then um, I believe it was the older millennial, uh, then Lauren, and then uh, Christian Lamar. So in that order, Darwin, feel free to unmute and speak, and then we'll move on to the next speakers. And let's try to, you know, keep it one at a time so that people can hear. I have people getting mad at me in the DMs that when you guys talk over each other, no one can hear anything. Thanks. Hey, Destiny, how's it going? Great. So I'm curious, you talk about how if you mess around, then you find out. And basically, what I understand your position to be listening so far is if somebody supports Trump or if they go to a Trump rally, then it's open season on them. Do I have you wrong there? I wouldn't say it's open season. I'm just saying if shit happens. I mean, I don't, I don't know why anybody would have any sympathy. Well, are you actually against people shooting 
Trump supporters at this point? I think it's probably not a good idea. But again, I'm not. Again, I'm not. I don't have any sympathy for it. I don't care. Okay. Um, do you think that it's democratic to shoot people who are against democracy? Um, in some cases, probably, yeah. Just depends on the case, right? I mean, isn't that kind of what the whole Revolutionary War was about, was shooting people that were trying to prevent our democracy? You guys are the ones that marched with the 1776 thing, right? Well, I suppose. Uh, it's do, you think, do, you think it's, do you think that, like, revolutions and shit that are fighting for democracy, do you think they shoot people that are against democracy to defend democracy? Yeah, I think people typically shoot people whenever there's a revolution. Okay. But it's just interesting to me. I thought the whole point of democracy is that you vote. You don't shoot people who want to run government in a different way. Is that not your understanding of democracy? Typically it is. It's also my understanding of democracy that, say, for instance, if you've engaged in insurrection, that you're ineligible to hold office again. But um, that rule got wiped away by the Supreme Court because we didn't like it, because we had to make an exception for Donald Trump to run for president again. So I guess like the right. rules of democracy just don't seem to apply in the same way when it comes to Donald Trump. It's also my understanding, for instance, that you can impeach a person um, in the House and then convict them in the Senate if you feel they've done wrong and you want to not have them hold future office. But Republicans disagreed with that and they said, actually, you can impeach a man that's out of office. It was also my understanding that people can help be held criminally liable for the actions that they perform, irrespective of their position in society, that no man is above the law. But the Supreme Court has also disagreed with that. And now Trump has, enjoys absolute criminal immunity for every core action as president and presumptive immunity, at least for basically every other thing he did while president. So all of these ideas of what a democracy is and how you hold people accountable in democracy seems like Trump and his fans don't like any of those rules. So again, if you make a king, I mean, people are going to treat him as a king. Yeah, it's just strange to me. It, it seems like you're, it seems like, and, and let me know if you're wrong, but if I'm wrong here, but it seems like you would be fine with taking out half the country as long as they are in support of Trump because he's a dictator. Uh, would I be fine with it? Probably not. It'd be pretty tragic. But I think it's more tragic that we've gotten to the point where half the country supports an insurrectionist. And I don't, so, I don't, I don't, I don't appreciate that. Some for some reason, conservatives have been able to dictate so much of the media agenda that we're just supposed to accept that as normal. Do you think maybe the way that you're talking speaks to the way that politics has a way of poisoning our minds? I because think that I if that was really the case, I don't think this is like a person at the bottom of a pool, like died with black water trying to tell me what he sees on, on the surface of the pool. You, like if you're somebody that has sit there and, and, and retweeted every epic own where Tim Pool is saying civil war, where uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and all these people are talking about Nancy Pelosi's husband, where everybody's denying that the Whitmer thing ever happened, whatever that is, whatever that group of people are, they are unequipped. And they are unable to, to levy any legitimate criticism towards anybody else that's laughing at the fact that somebody showing up at a fucking dictator rally ends up getting shot by a guy trying to kill the dictator. No, that's that, whatever criticism there are to make there, that side wouldn't be able to make it. And that's because that side supports January 6th. Is that right? That's because that side supports an insurrection against the uh, government. Which is January 6th, correct? The, that and the events leading up to it, yes. Right. So it seems like what I'm understanding is you don't have to be held morally accountable for any of the things that you're doing because the other side supports an insurrectionist. So it's okay to kill them. It's okay to, I never said it was uh, okay to kill them. them. The country has laws. If you shoot somebody or whatever, you should, you should be held. Well, Ooh, actually, I don't, I don't know. I, actually, hold on. I'm so sorry. Wait, I, just, to, I want to, I'm sorry. I want to walk that back. Uh, I don't think in a room full of conservatives, I wouldn't say that anything should be like, you should be held criminally liable for anything. I don't know if I would feel comfortable saying that around conservatives, because apparently you guys think that that's not the case, that some people in this country shouldn't be held criminally, criminally liable for some things. But if I was in a room full of uh, friendly people that actually appreciated rule of law, um, then I would say, you know, if you shoot and kill somebody, regardless of the reason, well, not regardless, I mean, self-defense, whatever is acceptable, but no, you should be held criminally liable, of course. Okay. I mean, if that's the case, why don't you speak out against the violence instead of making light of it and basically encouraging it? The encouragement comes from the other side that anointed a king. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like uh, Nancy Pelosi or Hillary Clinton saying illegitimate president is contributing to the, uh, to, the, to the current conditions in this country more than the guy who's literally known for making up bad nicknames for political opponents. That's wild. 95% of why Trump is even supported by you dipshits is because of how epic he is on Twitter. So no, I'm not going to sit here right. and chastise people on the left who are uh, being a little bit divisive about rhetoric. It's insane. Okay. I was just curious about that. Real, uh, one other thing real quick, I'm, I'm really curious about. Real, Go ahead. Clint. Real quick. Be, <clears throat> just to piggyback off your point about democracy, um, you know, Stephen's point is that 
basically Donald Trump is this existential threat because he's an insurrectionist and ultimately a threat to democracy. But at the same time, he's saying that 70 million Americans are essentially not fair game, but, you know, deserve no sympathy if they're caught up in the crossfire of this brewing war. Um, why do you still think that democracy is worth defending if you believe that the favorite to be the next president of the United States is ultimately a threat to democracy itself? Doesn't that kind of defeat the entire argument in favor of democracy? It might, actually, yeah. I mean, like that's always a, a possibility that this is like we're approaching the end of the American experiment. Um, we have the longest surviving constitution of any currently established government on the country, and the guy that we're voting for right now likely uh, wants to suspend that constitution so that he can investigate his political opponents for criminal wrongdoing, and half the country seems to not give a f So it might be that like this is the end of the road, and that this is kind of where we get off the uh, American democratic experiment train as possible. Yep. Okay, let's go uh, to the yeah. older let's go to the older millennial and then Lauren Southern um to keep it kind of flowing and then we can take more requests after that if if you're still willing to oblige. Yeah, I don't think I don't think my point's going to take that long. It's like so I mean I I've heard Destiny speak a lot and I think he's made it very clear and he even made it very clear in this live that you believe nobody's above the law, you believe everybody sh everybody who commits criminal activity should be prosecuted for criminal activity and then on an earlier point, you were talking about the classified documents. You were saying that Trump having them for a year shows criminality, shows he should be prosecuted. Hold on. I, to be clear, wait, Trump having them for a year doesn't show anything. It's the fact that he had them. He knew he had them. He knew they were classified and that he didn't classify okay. didn't classify them and that he knowingly no, no, kept them and then obstructed investigators from getting to them that, yeah. OK, I, I completely agree with anybody that think I don't disagree with people that think that Trump holding on to those documents he should be prosecuted for it. I don't disagree with you. And now him having them for a year and holding on to them and knowing they were classified, knowing he wasn't supposed to have them, that that points out criminality. Totally get that. Now, under that same vein and under the fact that nobody is above the law, uh, that we know from transcripts from Robert Hur during interviews, conduct, you know, during interviews that in 2018, Biden was aware that he had classified documents that he wasn't supposed to have. We, we know that he even said to his uh, ghostwriter, he said they just found the classified documents downstairs. So that it's not debatable whether or not he knows he had them. So that would be 2018 where he's not in office. He's and he didn't have a right to take them because he was VP anyway. And then he had them and then he didn't turn them in until late 2023. So that would be somewhere in the neighborhood of five years of knowingly retaining classified documents that he does not have a right to. So under the idea that nobody's above the law, he should certainly be prosecuted, too. Sure. If you want to charge him with a crime, go for it. OK, no, that's just what I wanted to clarify, because I was I was hearing that because I the question got asked where you were asked earlier. What about Biden having those documents? And you 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 definitely did not answer that question. You said you wanted him to answer your question first and we never got the answer to that. So I was just curious, you know, well, because the whataboutism is just like silly that like well, the, the, well, the documents case of what Trump is facing is like the least of the concerns. I would say no, that the I, whole conspiracy to defraud the American public and throw the election, uh, I would say, is like the bigger concern. But yeah, and, if, and you again, charge, again, if you want to charge if you want to charge Biden with a crime or whatever knock yourself out charge him and see how it goes in court and, i guess yeah so, but again but no no i'm not i'm not asking about charging what i'm what i'm i what i'm asking is do you, so you believe that trump is a criminal for what he did in with the classified documents so then that that well hold on do i believe that well no. hold on wait wait, wait. No. Oh, I just want to clarify. You, oh, wait, I just want to clarify. Hold on. When we say, do I think someone is a criminal? I think that from what I've seen in the indictments, I think that Donald Trump should, is rightfully charged with the things that he's indicted for. Now, is he a criminal? Well, he would have to go to court. And if he's convicted, then he would be. Well, I guess right now he is. Well, maybe we'll see if he gets thrown out, I guess, after the Supreme Court ruling. If he beats the con uh, the conviction or whatever, for whatever reason, then he wouldn't be a criminal. But I think that the charges, I think, are warranted. Yes. So you you would feel that even if the courts found him innocent, let him go, you wouldn't there wouldn't be any videos about how he got away with it because it was a judge he put in there. It would just be that's the way the, the justice system works. And he's obviously innocent. If I if I if he went through the court process and assuming there wasn't like anything unhinged or insane that happened, then, yeah, I mean, sometimes people you don't like win in court like it happens. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it happens to be like, OK, well, he won me. You know, he survived the process. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying that under under your line of thinking, if we're being if we're being logically consistent, then the current occupant of the of the White House committed criminal activity. OK. OK, I'm just just supporting a criminal. I just something you accuse conservatives of doing a lot. No, I, it's it's not really about supporting a criminal. I don't think I've actually I don't think I've used that phrase a single time in here. So the problem is you come under here with the assumption that I'm as much of a cowardly f 
as you are and that I won't hold my side to account because you won't hold your side to account. If That's you think that Biden had, if, that had done, if, if you think that Biden had done, if if the fact that you had to walk me through five minutes of, of wasted time to say, if if you think that Biden, there's reasonable suspicion or probable cause he committed a crime, would you support charges against him? And if he did do it, yeah, of course I would. Fine. Charge him, convict him, whatever That's, the fuck. Sure. The, the problem isn't that, the problem isn't that, the problem isn't that, the problem isn't that, I don't even know if you could perceive my character from the puddle on the ground that you move we, around we in, okay? your character. The, we Received your That's character great. as a thirty-year-old man that traveled across That's the great. world to go fuck a eighteen-year-old okay, girl. That based, okay, okay. Well, yes, now I'm a thirty-five-year-old man. I'm gonna travel across the world to go fuck your mom. Okay. Let's All I'm saying is that the reason. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, real quick. Don't cut him off. Hold on. We, I'm just saying. Wait, wait, wait. Hands, please. Yeah, wait, hold okay, on, real quick. You, you guys are, you guys have resorted to insults now. I, I think apologize. Wait, like no, it's okay. To... We love insults here, okay, it's fine. Hold on, just as a real quick thing, okay? I don't care if people support okay. like a... Real well, quick, I, and then I would like to move on to Lauren, please. She's Wait, hold on, wait! All right, half the on. owner of the space, let the guy finish, hold on. I just want to make one point, and then he can make one point, and then you can move on to Lauren again, okay? Hold, no Canadian favoritism here, okay? host instead? Am I not a co-host? No, you're just a speaker. Okay, well, just... Okay, let, go on. Finish your okay, point. Yes, Sorry, okay. Crafting. Then we'll move on to Lauren. Finish your point. Sure. Okay, yeah. Well, then give him the last word, okay? I don't care. Like, supporting a criminal is not my thing. It's supporting an insurrectionist. That's what I've said since the very beginning. I'm sure that if you go through a lot of people's actions, you might be able to find crimes. Maybe that maybe you could charge them. Maybe they'd even get convicted for it. My issue right now is not the documents case with Donald Trump. That's just one of the four indictments that he was facing. The two huge ones, the Georgia one and the big federal one, the Jack Smith one about insurrection. Those are the two massive things, okay? I don't even know if, if you want to support a president who's had criminal charges did criminal behavior i don't even think that's necessarily anti-american depending on what you're criminally charged with. there's a whole host of like stupid things there where it's like that's criminal you should probably be held accountable for it but it's not like anti-american supporting an insurrection absolutely it's is not anti-american to, to not actually keep track of classified documents that put our classified activities in danger that's not anti-american that's not uh, i mean it would depend it would like, depend I, on it would depend somebody, on as would, somebody who spent 10 years in the army i know that anybody that misplaced any classified materials in the army if you misplaced even a low level classified document one of them you were either you were going to lose rank you were going to lose pay you were very likely going to be getting jail in the army you're definitely going to be discharged from the military so it, Wait, I so that, hold on, just as a real quick thing, you probably, I mean, you could be discharged, you could lose your job, you could lose rank, whatever, likely criminally charged, probably not. That's, that, here's the thing, first of all, as somebody who worked in the crypto side of the army, yes, you will be criminally charged, in fact, I've seen people be criminally charged, I've seen soldiers be criminally charged for losing a crypto device in, an, in a Humvee that was blown the fuck up. So, yes, yeah, no, that doesn't happen, no, that doesn't okay. happen, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, that's fine, I'll, I'll, tw I'll, tweet you to, I'll tweet you to the guy. Yeah, that's great. Um, I was just going to ask something real quick. Um, I would say that's... No, so, sorry, Myron. Myron, thanks for coming in. And, you know, thanks for coming on. I know I usually troll you pretty hard, but we can put that aside for and now. Uh, Lauren had her hand up. And then uh, and then I believe it was Christian Lamar. And then and then we can go. Let's do the hands. Let's get through the hands uh, that people have been waiting patiently for. And then we can get to you because I'm willing to host the space as long as Destiny is willing. Okay? Is that cool? Am I supposed to say Lauren, yes to that? Go ahead. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, I mean, listening to this, it sounds like whenever you go back to the electors stuff, you make it sound very cut and dry, like this was an insurrection. This was extremely deliberate, extremely illegal. Like, how could they? This has never been done before in the country's history. But when I read about it a bit, like fake certificates, this is from AP News, fake certificates were submitted in the battleground states of Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. In New Mexico and Pennsylvania, fake electors added caveat saying the certificate was submitted in case they were later recognized as duly elected qualified electors. That would only have been possible if Trump had won any of several dozen legal battles he waged against states in the weeks after the election. Republican Party of New Mexico Chairman Steve Pierce said Friday that the state faced numerous election challenges that had the possibility of going before a court. Therefore, he said the GOP electors cast their votes by the deadline written within federal statute in the event the election outcome changed. And Democratic Attorney General Torres agrees that the Republican electors did not violate the law, but now he wants to criminalize the process used by both Democrats and Republicans, Pierce said, referring to the 1960 presidential election in which Democrat electors in Hawaii cast votes for John F. Kennedy, despite that state initially being called for Republican Richard Nixon. So this sounds like a little more complicated than just this cut and dry, like Trump was trying to steal the election with these electors. Hold on. Why the whole point of submitting the false slates of electors were so that Vice President Pence would choose them when Congress was counting the votes in order to choose the false slates of electors or to use them to cause confusion to throw it back to the House delegation to just make Trump the president. There is no part of that that is a legitimate or legal process. 
Well, then why did the uh, attorney general, the Democrat attorney general, agree that the electors did not violate the law? Saying that somebody didn't violate a particular criminal statute in a state speaks nothing to the federal case of the criminal conspiracy to overturn the election. It might be that in two states, maybe they found a carve out or a caveat to avoid criminal charges, but the electorates were not chosen by that state. And the goal of those electorates was not to represent the actual voters of the state. The goal was for Pence to unilaterally declare Trump the president in Congress using a, a variety of means. All right, I'll read the indictments and we can have a debate about this at a further date, but it definitely seems like uh, a little more complex. Than it's absolutely not. I know it seems that way, but it's All just right. because of the first time you've ever read it into it in your entire life. And now you're trying to nibble around the edges of like, well, actually, well, I'm the way curious. that he crossed I'm his asking. T on this particular thing, maybe I know. And I'm going to love when you come back. And you're like, oh, well, actually, well, if you actually look in in 17 or actually in the year in the year 1427, uh, there was a British king once and he talked to a feudal lord. And when they were doing their play electorate college for their children, they actually did this thing and, and the common laws is bullshit the people voted in a certain way the electorate slates were not contested this has never been a thing that's been contested and donald trump is laid out in a whole thing for as part of your reading you should google eastman memo and you can read the whole plan nothing about that is democratic nothing about that is legal it hinged on them assuming that the electoral count was, was unconstitutional and that they would be able to challenge it on the floor and have it thrown to the court while they cause mayhem and seat trump as president no part of this comes off as like a legal democratic process even if an individual right. actor in a state might avoid state criminal charges for it great i will read it because i sure as shit am not taking your word for it okay Okay, we can go to uh, um, yeah. It was Christian. Uh, Christian. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Um, so I, I got a, a question for uh, for Destiny. Um, do you? Are, first of all, you're you are you live in the United States, right? Unfortunately, Correct. right now, yeah. Okay, and do you know? Uh, I'm assuming you are, you're a citizen here. So, do you know what kind of country you live in, as far as? The type of government is, is, is the is the country are the three branches of government, Article one, Article two, Article three are the three branches of government. Do those three branches equal a democracy? Do, do those three you, are, are you trying to quiz me on structures of government? I'm pretty sure well, no, democracy you, just means that the people vote on things. No, I think a republic means you've got representatives that, that create legislation for you. I think we're considered a democratic republic, but we're also a constitutional republic. It's a constitution that sources the three separate branches of power. I don't know. What are you trying to quiz me on to see if I don't know okay, it? It's so, some fucking uh, uh, okay, trivia because, of wait. American government. Yeah, tell me. What are you, what are you asking? Okay, so you, uh, because again, uh, of, of all the things that you have said, you've reverted back to saying that the country is either a democratic or a democracy. So it, it, the is country the word, is a democracy. Wait, 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 one yes. Second, yes. One second. One second. So is the word democratic, democracy, or democrat written in the text of the U.S. Constitution? I don't. I don't know if it's written in the text of the U.S. Constitution, but voting is. And and okay. Uh, okay. So I, I'll answer it for you. It's not. Okay, so you have you have uh, first of all Article Two. Hold on, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. before you go on this whole yap fest, are you gonna are you gonna try to make the argument to me that the United States is not a democracy? Is that it's not a democracy? It's not. How do you so define be, be, democracy? Because you, be, because you because you said that it would be okay with shooting someone if they did not believe or agree that the country is a democracy or democratic or democrat, whatever the case may be, but. It's not. And you have how do you, a lot how do you, of people. Wait, real quick, so that we're on the same page. How do you define a democracy? A, de, a, a democracy is not what, what, what we have. I didn't in ask the what it's States. not. Is this a, it is this be, a troll? What is be, a democracy? It would, be, it, would be, it would be primarily based on, number one, using the popular vote as much as possible. Yeah, that's, that's and not then, true. And no, then that's number, not true. And then yeah, number no, that's two, not true. Yeah, and no. then number two, yeah. democracy allows the uh, the government to go around the text of the Constitution and not abide strictly by the text in the Constitution. We have so in our country we have the three branches. We have first of all Article Three is appointed by Article Two, and and also Article Three has to be confirmed uh, by a, a half of Article One. Article Two is elected by the electoral college and then even when you look at article one uh article one is divided up by congressional seats based on our uh, based on our census 
that census is also uh, divvied up uh, according to the electoral college, and then you have the maps that are drawn. I'm, out okay, I'm good. I don't need the like. I don't need the. I don't need the. I don't need the fake but uh, government you're, lesson. You're, if, if you're, you're if you don't have anything, if you don't have anything else to say, we just want the next person. Other people want to speak. Your whole premise. If there are other people, I, sir, I don't. Was, I honestly don't give a f with what you have to say. I, 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 don't, I don't need to don't, listen to somebody talk about how the country care. that I live I in isn't a democracy. Care. Then why are you speaking? You then why are you talking? Care. Thank you. I know you don't care. Okay. So now, so now going back. To okay. Poke me when this dude is done. Okay. Okay. You think he's done? Has it been? Nope, he's still yapping. <laughs> Fuck me for this to go on. He's doing the U.S. as a republic and not a democracy. Uh, he might want to make the super strict argument that like an individual citizen gets a right to vote isn't like founded in the um, in any of the constitution, which I'm pretty sure is technically true because, like I, I mean, we've said this before, the states vote for. Um, the states vote for a president, but like the idea that like the people are the ones that vote for things, that it's we the people, it's not we the representative, it's not we the parliament, it's not we the Congress, um, is yeah, the idea that this guy would come on and, and try to make the argument, well, actually, we're not a democracy at all. We're some other whatever autistic shit he was arguing for, I guess. Jesus Christ. Do they know you muted him? I have no idea. Don't know, don't care. No, it's not a. No, well, he's still going. <laughs> I think at one point senators were appointed by state legislature legislatures rather than directly elected. That is true until I think rel was that relatively recently. Um, your federal senators, the people that go to your law house, were just chosen by the um, by your state assembly. Um, when did U.S. Or when did states change how they vote for senators? Since 1913. It might even be found, I think, we need to do a constitution. I think in the original constitution, I think it was founded, um, I think in the original wording that, no, I don't think it would have been. That the state assembly chose senators? I don't remember where that was. Or it might have been. I don't know. Someday we'll go through all the amendments and everything. Quick 940 while he yaps. Fuck. Wait. Well, I don't know if I restart this piece. Oh, if wait. all the people will just join. Um, wait, sorry. Am I here? We'll hello? Hello? Sorry. Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Uh, Hi, right, what's up? Maybe so sometimes it glitches. Oh, uh, I had to mute because so that retard was like yapping for 30 minutes so oh, okay, i just okay. walked away and did something okay, literally all right. smashed my head we, into we, a wall for 10 minutes and it was a better use of my time than okay, listening to that guy fucking okay, okay. ramble the, on and on and on okay i think i'm actually smarter for it too i think i actually endured less okay. brain damage smashing three, my head against the wall than listening to that guy sufficed. destiny three of those words oh, okay sufficed. that retard okay. those are the three all words right, i right. needed thank okay, you okay okay can we just move on to the dan dan from x is in the space he has a question i believe towards you uh, dan you can go ahead Thanks, Kat. Yeah, and, and I don't speak on any behalf of X whatsoever. This is my, all my, my own personal questioning and opinions. Um, hey, Destiny, I, I haven't seen your account until today, but I saw something you posted about um, the person who was murdered yesterday. Um, may, maybe it was just a troll or maybe I read it wrong, but it seemed like you were laughing at the situation. Um, I, I coupled that with the fact that I heard it like a passing reference to um, you regret that you still live in America. So I'm, I'm curious where you're coming from. And Sure. So um, the first thing is, I thought it was funny that a dude that was like deep throating uh, Putin on his Twitter account got murked at a insurrectionist rally event. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, and then the second thing, the regret well, is on. that... Well, hold on. Uh, I'm just answering both your questions. The second thing was, the regret is that half the citizens in this country right now seem to be like fully supportive of a guy who tried to uh, launch an insurrection against the government. That's pretty wild. So those are my two takes on that. Yeah, I, I don't want to touch the insurrection thing. I mean, I think the court can settle that, but... You, you, <laughs> yeah, like they've settled everything else in favor of Trump? Yeah. Did you say you thought it was funny that somebody was murdered for at a peaceful rally? Well, I said murked, but... What do you mean by murked? I don't, I don't know. He got shot? He got killed? Murder is a pretty strong word. Shouldn't we let the courts decide? You, you don't think he was murdered? Do you think that was an accident? 
Well, I don't know. It hasn't been evaluated yet. I don't think it was an accident, though. Weren't people saying that God guided the bullet and that's how Trump survived? Maybe God just really didn't like that one particular guy. I mean, I, I feel like I'm wasting my time and you're just, like, extendedly Sure. The, 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 like, I've already given you the honest answer. You just don't like it. The honest answer is, I, I have would, no sympathy. I think it's kind of funny. Yes, that's my answer. You can, you can try to ask that, like, 20 Mark, different times, but Mark, that's my answer. For Merck or whatever, murder or whatever the hell yeah. you want. The guy was killed yep. at, peacefully at a rally. Yeah, he might have responded to a, a, a post with something that you disagree with or something. No, no, hold on. Not just something that I disagree <laughs> with, something that is anti-democratic and he's supporting an insurrectionist. So my so sympathy is non-existent. If shit happens, I don't care. God. So what? You think somebody who expresses anti-democratic opinions on X should be shot? I don't, should be? No. Number one, people on X, if you work at this platform, are from all over the world. People are welcome to express whatever opinions. They're totally different uh, countries and groups of people, whatever. Um, number two, if you're supporting a guy who tried to lead an insurrection against the government, should you be shot? I probably don't think so, and I don't think that's good. But if you are shot, am I going to lose any sleep over it? No, and I'm probably going to make fun of you if it happens, because it's hilarious. Do you hear what you're saying? You, you hear what you're saying? Hold on. Why do I why do I need to accept civility from people that are supporting an insurrectionist? Give me one positive argument there. Oh wait. I, I didn't hear what you said because I was still stuck on the you find it hilarious that somebody got shot. Oh, okay. I thought conservatives loved humor. My bad. Let me know when I can I'll hit the second point up if you are is still that, stuck on that one. Is that your sense of humor? That when people support an insurrectionist and then they get shot and they're like, wait, what? Violence at the rallies for the guy that's saying we need to overthrow the Constitution? Yeah, that's funny to me. W would it be funny if so insurrection? You're saying it's funny because you, you think this guy supports an insurrection. You have no idea his actual full views and opinions. But if, well, I know that he supports a, a candidate that tried to lead okay, an insurrection can, against the government. Can yeah. I fucking finish? Well, okay, just don't misrepresent so, what I say. Jeez. Okay, so if there's an if there's an insurrection, say, such as any of these invasions of, of capitals from leftist protesters, if they were shot, you think that would be like would it would it be cool if I was if I thought it was funny that people got killed because they were doing something I didn't like or didn't agree? Like I'm just trying to figure out if you're actually just trolling. For, Jeez, well hold on, let me think. Let me think that. Let me think about that for a moment. Would I would I actually real? think it would be funny if leftists? Um, if leftists were to get shot at protests where they were engaging in violent and where they were opposed to like institutions like democracy. Ooh, I don't know, Chief. I'll get back to you on that one. I'm not sure how I would feel about that. You know, I definitely don't have a, a huge history of being incredibly critical towards communists and socialists who engage in anti-democratic behavior. Critical is not the yeah. same as supporting murder. Or I didn't say I supported murder. I just said it was funny. Laughing at murder. That's a lot different than being critical. <laughs> I do think, I think some of it is kind of funny and I will laugh at it. The fact that one of the people that Rittenhouse killed was a Pedophile. I think that's kind of funny that Rittenhouse was like 18 and he shot a dude that did touch kids while he was trying to touch Rittenhouse. I think that's kind of funny personally. And I bet you did too. But when it happens to your side, all of a sudden it's the worst thing in the world, huh? Crazy how that works. Yeah, I do he think it's funny sometimes. Crimes. This guy was peaceful. He wasn't committing any crimes. Yes, I understand. Yes, he was peacefully supporting an insurrectionist. He I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. You can peacefully do a whole bunch family. of shit. That a, that's, he wasn't protecting his family, okay? Oh, Scott. really? He wasn't protect He wasn't on top of his family protecting them. I'm sure he was on top of something after he got shot and fell over. Yeah. But no, I don't give a f what he was doing after he should have been at a f rally supporting an insurrectionist, in my opinion. I have a question about that. So like maybe. OK, so if if he if the man that was killed that you find funny, I guess, um, like if he didn't, you know, follow it as closely as you did and read every single memo and every single indictment and he was hold on aware. stop stop oh. stop don't stop stop no, care no, no, hold on no 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 wait stop stop characterizing my position as reads every single thing okay like it's it's, it's like it feels like with conservatives, if I show you a book like the Berenstein Bears, and I'm like, can you read this cover to cover? And you're like, wow. So if I can't read Moby Dick, I'm not allowed to have an opinion on something. I'm asking for the bare minimum of political knowledge, the bare minimum, like knowing what a president was charged but with. You I'm don't not asking know for how much something he exceptional. Had, if he, well, you don't know there's how much two. Knowledge he well, had. there's only two possibilities. Either one, he had no knowledge, in which case you're still supporting an insurrectionist in a democracy. You have some minimum responsibility to understand your candidates. Or two, he had a, a lot of knowledge, in which case he's knowingly supporting an insurrectionist. Okay, so despite without knowing what he uh, knew, it, it's it's still F A F O. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to clarify. Yeah, no problem. I got you. Okay, and I would just like to say, you know, thanks for 
essentially eventually catching up and you know agreeing not to shout at people I, am, yeah. I think I, I think I'm pretty brave for taking on the, the brunt of, of your <laughs> rage in the very beginning I think maybe you're taking it out on me because you're angry with a whole lot of people and then I just happened to ask for a chat so I'm gonna you know overlook that and um, say thank you for agreeing to somewhat moderate your tone when, when you're speaking with the people. So thanks for that. Sure. Also, just to be clear, the Corey dipshit like was tweeting out, uh, he simped for Putin and he supported the January 6th shit. So just what, to be clear, he mean, did. Sim- what do you mean simped? Like, can you, can you like there was some picture of four people and one of them was Putin. It was like, if you had to save any of the people in this picture, which one would you save? He was like, I would save Putin. And then he had oh, a bunch so it of, it was a meme. Well, hey, <laughs> listen, I mean, that's about all that you good conservatives even engage with news on is meme so that's about all i have to go on to well, figure out what your political opinion not, so sorry true. it seems that's to be the case true. yeah that when you tell me you don't, when i say have you read the criminal indictment and you're like oh do i have to read the entire encyclopedia to have an opinion well, that kind of like seems that. like it, what it seems no, yeah uh, i didn't say it like that i would happily read uh, a document that uh that you have read so i can also take a look at it and you know adjust or form an opinion based on that so cool i, I think i said that from the beginning I wasn't trying to, uh, you know, not look at anything. Uh, Lauren and I both mentioned that, so I think, yeah, we're willing to look at the information. So I, I'm just curious, since uh, this guy, it's apparently okay to laugh at his death because he commented something silly on a meme on Twitter. No, it was because what he supported an insurrectionist, to be clear. Stop mischaracterizing. Right, my position is so simple, it. and unlike you guys, I actually own it, so I don't know why you guys you keep, keep misquoting my position. It. It's you so keep, simple. You if you support an insurrectionist it. and shit happens to you, I don't really give a f- and if it, you, the way you die is funny, I'm going to laugh at it. That's my position. It's very simple from A to B to C. Okay. You don't have to make more shit up. It's so easy to understand. I think I cut out there for a second. Can you still hear me? Loud and clear. I can hear you, Lauren. Okay. Yeah. Why, why do you keep bringing up the meme thing if it has nothing to do with uh, why you think it's funny that he died? That makes it more funny. Okay. So it does make it funny. Anyway. It makes it more funny. It was funny before. What, what now it's you- extra funny. <laughs> What do you think should be done to uh, insurrectionists or people that support insurrectionists, like in your opinion? What uh, what should be done? I mean, if you've engaged in insurrection, at the very least, if you've taken a prior oath to office in the United States, you should be barred from holding future office. Um, that used to be part of our Constitution until the Supreme Court got rid of it because it was inconvenient for Trump. Um, on a secondary level, I mean, if you've committed a crime, I mean, like crimes related to insurrection are kind of sketchy, so it doesn't really seem like there's ways to charge that, but I don't think. Um, so there's probably no criminal charge, but culturally, I think it should be heavily discouraged. In the United States of America, I don't think we should have a culture of accepting people that are engaged in, sh- that, that want to have like a Sharia law enshrined in some kind of legal doctrine or that want to engage in insurrection um, against the U.S. government. Like, yeah, these are things that I would consider anti-American. Yes. Okay, so let's say, because you've talked a lot about how, uh, you know, you've got half the country that now support insurrection or whatever. How can we have a democracy after this? Let's say it's 60, 70 percent of Americans that, quote unquote, support an insurrection. What, what is the answer to that? If your analysis is correct and this was an insurrection like what should leftists do uh, i mean you either at that point i mean you either yeah you either stand and fight or you leave i guess right so hey, wait, quick question Dustin. oh like? sorry go on lauren i'll ask after. Uh, yeah what does stand and fight look like I don't, it depends on how you want to fight what do you mean so if let's say trump wins this upcoming election. i'm not you're not gonna i don't know if you're trying to give me the fed post my account i'm not gonna say some shit especially some ex well, no, guy here trying to give me the I should ban, but it means exactly what you think it means. I'm not mincing words. I don't do what you guys do, where you're like, well, when they said, uh, uh, fight like hell and take your country back, they actually just meant march peacefully. When I say fight, I mean, I mean it in, in the, in whatever sense you think I mean it is exactly how I mean it. Yes, that is what I mean. Yeah, of course. But also to be clear again, because I'm not a spineless blubbery f- Okay, like you conservatives are. I said the exact same thing with the January 6th protesters where I said, if you legitimately think that the election has been stolen, if you think that I understand why you would want to march and engage in violence and engage in insurrection, it makes sense too. If you think that your country has been stolen from you, which is what your corrupt president has led you to believe for year after year after year, then yeah, it makes sense why people would do it. Of course, I would hold the exact so same standard Trump, for the left and the right there, the same one that I have held for both Trump sides. If Trump wins this upcoming election, you think that uh, leftists should march on the Capitol violently? Um, should they? I don't know. That's a that's a pretty tough question at that point. I don't know. I guess it would depend on the know. actions. I get. I'm not pushing. I'm not pussyfooting around. I can't read the future. There's a lot of people. First of all, you don't even know what's happening in the present. So the idea that you're trying, you don't know what's happening in the present or the past, and you're trying to hold me to account for not predicting the future. Excuse me. Okay. Number one. Okay. It would depend on the actions. I guess the president takes and what happens from that point. So I'm not sure. Well, no, no, because you don't think he should be able to run for office again because he's an insurrectionist. So Correct. if he gets elected, he shouldn't be in office, right? I mean, personally, that was how the Constitution went, and that's been changed, but... So, so 
if you are a pro-American, if you love your country, you're a patriot, you should get up and probably do something about it, right? What, like assassinate the president? I don't know if that would be oh, yeah, like I the best so. idea. <laughs> it wouldn't be the best idea? Probably not. You'd probably get caught. I, 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 if it, if stuff like this, if, if there's violence, if there's vi this is the same autistic arguments that you retards use for Ukraine and Russia, where somehow Ukraine gets uh, blamed on Russia invading their territory and fighting back. You can't shoot missiles into Russia. It'll lead to World War Three. Whatever happens past the Trump election, the conservatives own that. That's what I would say. Regardless of what happens, they own that. That's their thing. That's, that's their path. Clear. That's the exact, that's, that's the that's path that they put the country clear. on. I think you, you're leaving room to say, yeah, maybe people should do something violent about it. No, the, well, first of all, that's that been the conservative line. Hold on. I've never said that people should do something. I've never used those words. Okay. I'm not saying people should. All right. Just the same way I haven't said the left right. People should do a particular thing. I mean, but I'm I saying that if it happens, if it happens, I don't have any sympathy for it i don't know what people should and and it's obvious like the path that people are putting us on like that's a pretty obvious thing that when you make a president and you start changing the rules for that president and you put him above criminal fucking conviction what the f do you think is going to happen at that point like it's it's an it's an undeniable uh, like unavoidable path that you're going down okay so trump gets elected people violently storm the capitol you're gonna condemn that or not if trump gets elected and people violently storm the capitol um I don't know. I'm not sure. I'd have to think about it at the time. I, I'm like, I'm leaning like 51% in supporting Guns it, I guess. Blazing. 49. They start holding Marjorie Taylor Greene at gunpoint hostage. You're not <laughs> sure 50%. But you laugh, but that's because in your world, all the actions are the same because you have no idea what the f*** is going on with anybody. You didn't even know how this insurrection uh, worked 20 minutes ago, and now you're laughing. You're like, well, well, it's attacking every single person the exact same. Oh, like, I, you, you're not even able to engage in the conversation. So I don't know why you're laughing when you ask, like, question. well, if somebody attacks somebody that is anti-democratic, uh, that advocates for the president to be held above all criminal liability, do you think that's the same thing as when people wanted to steal AOC shoes? Uh, don't you think that's the same thing that. as when they try? Yeah, that's, that is what you're saying. If something happens, I don't know. You can ask me about it then. I'm not going to future predict every potential thing, okay? Referring to January 6th, I was just saying, if leftists stormed the Capitol violently, held people hostage at gunpoint, would you defend I would that? Say, I would say that before Donald Trump tried an insurrection, I would be highly critical of all of that type of behavior. That's what I would say. But you'd be less critical now. Uh, maybe. Who knows? We'll see what happens. All right. Interesting. I saw Diligent came up. Diligent, I, I have no hands, so I'm just going to go by who's come up and wants to speak. Uh, I was Diligent, just kind of observing the exchange for a minute before I chimed in. I, I'm i late to the party, so to speak, so I was kind of ma assessing Destiny's position because obviously he doesn't like it suggested. Uh, I was kind of waiting for him to clarify since I was late, but uh, I think I get the gist of it. Uh, I, we won't we won't get into hypotheticals, uh, so we'll stick to what we know has occurred already. I think we can discuss that. Uh, what is your position on the summer of love? Is that an insurrection? Is that justifiable violence in the name of left wing politics? Can you clarify your position on that? Because it kind of leads into For, what we I saw. I don't think that yesterday. any part of it was an insurrection. I'm not aware of any plans to overthrow the government. Also, you're talking about a huge range of protests in parts of protests where there was rioting involved and people were either violent or breaking curfews. Obviously, I think that all of those people should be held as accountable as possible. I, I've never opposed any of that ever. Uh, I don't know why you're trying to ask me both sides on an issue just because you're too cowardly to take a side against your own uh, political party on one thing doesn't mean that I am. I've been highly critical of riots in the past. I'm quite famous for it. So, yeah. Yeah, I would say that anybody that engaged in illegal behavior should be charged with illegal behavior. And for the rioting, there obviously was a lot of that. So I, I don't know what you want me to say for that that you think is surprising there. There was no insurrection. I don't know what this uh, this kid is talking about. There was there was no insurrection. Okay, I mean we can walk through it from start to finish. Do you think that Donald Trump? Start to sure. Do you think that Donald Trump had seven false slates of electors prepared um, for states that he knew that he was going to lose, or for states that he lost? No, no, you're, 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 I'm talking about the march on the Capitol. That's, it's, that's, yes, that's the ending point to the insurrection. All of this is yeah. leading up to it. All of this is part of it. Yeah. So, so, so I, I wasn't says, aware Trump that Donald Trump had been convicted of insurrection. He so, hasn't. Right? That's Trump great. We're not. No one is talking about being convicted. We're going to keep it peaceful. You know, there, there are people. They marched towards the Capitol. There was a protest. Some people took it too far. A lot of idiots. 
They did some stupid I don't know shit. why you're Trump repeating said, okay, the same. Bra- okay. Respect our we, police. We don't need. Yeah, I, I know that what you guys like tell each other when you like step no, 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 in the bathroom like, and like, you repeat the same shit over and over again. So if you if you want to talk, where, if you want to understand, yeah, then we can do it. But you have to walk through it from the very beginning. You know, this. Well, you have to. You have to. Michael. 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 He's saying that the 2020 the 2020 riots were riots, but the march on the Capitol that's not a riot. That's an insurrection. Okay. So for all that wasn't that's fine. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. To overthrow the government. Cat, can you make me a co-host? Jesus. They didn't try and overthrow the government. They walked on the Capitol. Yeah, this people is, took it too yeah, far. They went not, to the government. Yep, they were great. being walked through oh, okay. the hallway by Good police. One. Nice. And then yep. they oh, left. We already watched the video. That's not what happened. <clears throat> so my, the insurrection, okay, the insurrection was that right. Donald Trump tried to have false slates of electors that he wanted to be chosen on the election day so that he could be made the president even though he lost the vote. There was a whole process of doing that, and the culmination of that was on the day of January 6th. He That's invited, he invited, I'm not, I haven't finished talking. You, can you not hear? Do you have a memory issue? If I oh, speak no, for too many words, do you, do you lose the end of the sentence? Shit. Okay, well, let no, me finish no, no, my sentence. Shit. Let me, let me finish. My, I know that you're, I'm not spinning you're a narrative. Spinning a All of, narrative. None, none of these people even, nobody even you're, denies any, okay. What have I said so far that's incorrect? What have I said? Shut the f***. What do you, mean you play with yeah, the word? You guys play with happens. this shit like every He's fucking day, dude. The leftist retard. What did I say that was incorrect, sir? What? Hey, what did I say that was incorrect, sir? Like that, they don't make any. What did I say that what that was incorrect, sir? What? What did I say that was incorrect? You're conflating tampering with insurrection. These are two extremely different things. Insurrection doesn't have to happen in in one day or one hour. Okay, okay. You're, you're, you're conflating two completely what? different things. What did things. I say that was incorrect? I don't think you're conflating tampering with the in- word insurrection. Just like you probably don't understand the gravity of the word attempted assassination. Good one. So the yeah, yeah, yeah. so, well so the insurrection done. so the inter well, it wasn't well done he missed okay the insurrection okay That's was from the start to the finish it was Donald Trump setting up false slates of electors and then bringing tens of thousands of people to the Capitol to have those people rush the Capitol in order to pressure the voters there using violence in order to select the fake electors that he had sent to Congress that was the insurrection. You mean when he said peaceful protest outside the Capitol? Like, no, I mean that before violence? that when he said we need to force them to accept our lawful slate of electors and we need Mike. Uh, we need a uh, vice president Mike Pence to come through for us. That's what I'm talking about. You know that that speech oh, was more than just one he line, was right? About the, when you're talking about so that litigation could occur, he was talking about delaying the process so litigation uh, no. could occur. No, one, you don't get to delay the election because you're ass mad that you lost all your court cases. Number one, there was a time to challenge the election and it had come and passed. Okay. Number two, if you want to challenge it, there are means to do that. It's not to delay the certification of the illegal. fucking vote. It wouldn't be illegal for Mike Pence to delay the process. It absolutely would have been illegal. It would have been. Unconstitutional, that it would have been the completion. To do, no, sir. he couldn't have been. No, he couldn't, and that's why he didn't do it. Thank God for oh, him. Oh, really? Yes. Then, why, then what, what was the pressure for then? If he couldn't have done it, then what is the point of pressuring him if it wasn't possible for him to do it? I didn't exactly. say it. I didn't say it wasn't possible for him to do it. I said it's not possible to do it legally. Uh-huh. He couldn't do it legally. But why do you think they were? What do you think they were pressuring him to do? I'm curious. What do you think Donald Trump was referring to when he said we need Mike Pence to come through for us? What was Donald Trump talking about? Tell me. <laughs> He didn't have to. Val- he didn't have to verify it. He didn't have to ver- verify. So what did he uh, want him process. to do? Uh, he could, he wanted him to delay. He wanted him to withhold the verifying it uh, in the Capitol that day. That way, litigation could occur so that he could get the mm-hmm. final count from certain states and, and allow some court cases to go through. Yep, that's what he was doing. That's called a, he that's was called also, a coup. That's but, called. But hold on. You admit. It. You admit that is resisting the peaceful transfer of power. Yes, correct. That that was he the was day. Calling, that was the day to certify the votes, and that he was trying to circumvent that process. Correct. So, so wait a no, second. No, 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 so wait. Answer that question. Is, correct? Was that correct? Did he try to delay I mean, the certification of the vote? I, I don't have to. I don't have to abide by. Your you, I mean, you guys. My. Is, I mean, it's kind of my space. It's not a filibuster. It's trying to get you guys to, to be accountable for one time in your f-ing life to answer a f-ing question because none of you guys do in your own. F-ing I don't dog have shit to programs. answer the way that you want me to, bro. The, the fact of the matter is, is that he called for a peaceful protest to Was pressure it peaceful? Mike Pence. Was it peaceful? Into, Was it peaceful? Into legally, into Was it peaceful? Legally delaying the process. It wasn't it legal. No, it wasn't legal. It wasn't, legal. it wasn't legal. It wasn't legal. It wasn't legal. It was not peaceful. It was there you legal. go. It wasn't peaceful. It wasn't it legal. Was and it delayed it was... the process, the certification. What do we call that, folks? 
with a plant over the government? That's an insurrection. That's an insurrection. That is it. He called. Call call well, you somehow, somehow, that hundreds of his followers didn't seem to get the message. Okay, I just muted him for a second because like four of you are yelling and nobody can understand anything. So if we can just get two people back and forth instead of you know a group yelling at each other um, because nobody can hear a thing. So I very much appreciate your time, Destiny, being here and whoever is coming to speak. Um, please try to one at a time so that people can hear what you guys are saying, because it's just so jumbled. It's impossible to hear through through the multiple people talking over each other. I think we owe him answers and that's fine. You know, the, the important thing is discourse. Uh, he asked, was it peaceful? There are people there that were peaceful. There were people that were absolutely not there were some bad apples there and that's okay you know we got to recognize that at the end of the day we have to re we have to recognize yeah 100 percent. but that wasn't his question his question was whether and, and or not fine. donald and, trump and, and, and it's a valid peaceful. question was it peaceful you know there were people there that were peaceful there were people there that were absolutely not that it's not and a matter of the question make trouble the question is when donald trump sent those people to the capital what was the goal it was it it, it was protests if the goal People was just okay, that's fine. Okay, they, yeah, they it were was just a protest. protest. It was just a protest on the day they certified the vote. Protest. Why is it that when as soon as things got violent, why did Trump wait hours to call his dogs off? I don't know. Why did Pelosi not bring in the Who proper is this retard? Who just spoke right here? H how much of my money goes to welfare to take care of you every day? Uh, can you even dress yourself? Can you wipe your own ass, you fat retard? I don't know who the. Is it mentioning Pelosi right now? My question was very simple. Okay, my question was very simple. Do you need me to repeat it? Why didn't Donald Trump call off the sycophantic savages that were rioting at the Capitol? Why didn't he call them off if his goal he was did. just to have a peaceful protest? He, 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 not for he hours. Did, not, why did he wait he hours did. to he do did. it? Why did he wait he hours did. to do it? Why did he, he wait did. hours to it's, do it? It's recorded. Why he did, did he wait hours to do it? But he didn't. It, 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 it was, really? It was, no, he's not in charge, bro. You're at, was he, was he in charge? Yes, he, he, he literally was in charge. Yeah, he was still the president. Yes. He was so, so. So no, you asked me why I brought up Pelosi. Charge. He was in charge. You, you, you don't, obviously, you don't know how the administration runs the Capitol oh, and Capitol security. That's why I brought up Pelosi. He wasn't in charge of Capitol security. Pelosi was. The House was. D.C. police was. That is who was responsible for security that day. And the reason why he waited so long is because he didn't know exactly what was going on because he wasn't the one directly in charge. He didn't know what exactly was, what was going on while he sat and watched it on TV drinking a Diet Coke with staffer after staffer staffer coming in and begging him to call off his dogs when he was making phone calls to McCarthy saying, well, I you guess some people are more mad. That's what happened. You have evidence. That's what happened. Yes. Or is that it, just one is laid out. In, it's laid out in all the indictments. His own daughter testifies to this. Mark Meadows, every other person. Nobody denies this. Only you retards that are on your knees. Okay. Trying to lick up the slurps of come up from Donald Trump on the floor. <laughs> deny this shit. Nobody denies it but you. Why are you denying when even Donald Trump isn't denying it? Nobody denies this. Do you think anything that I'm saying right now is contested? That Donald Trump didn't sit in his office, didn't sit in his room, drinking a Diet Coke for like three hours while people begged him to call off the riots? Uh, buddy, that's not what happened. He posted. He posted right on Twitter. Respect the police. He got to back down. Get out of there. If, Three if hours. Destiny, we he, can wait. If, wait if hold on. Do you deny? No, no, wait. I just want to add this one thing. That, wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that be conceding that he was responsible for them? Yeah, right? if he, wouldn't it? Only if he did it at the very beginning. It seems like the fact that he let it run on for oh, hours. Oh, you mean when he called for he, a peaceful protest? The fact at that the he very let beginning. it happen. That's what you're talking about. The fa if you called for a peaceful protest and your protesters were not peaceful, would you wait three hours to tell them to be peaceful? He told them to be peaceful before there was even a riot. What are you talking about? And when there Once was a riot, hand, when there was no a riot, he's no longer in control like anybody else. He's no and longer so in control. Then why is it him. that after he tweeted out, "Hey guys, we need to respect the police and go home," why did people go home after that? Uh, you have to ask them. I mean, I, I have are to ask, you? How about we use our them? brain for like two seconds? What do you mean I have to ask them? They were there on Donald Trump's orders. They were there marching 1776. We need to like get Mike Pence to save our country why why is this such a 
fucking mystery for you to figure out what they were there exactly for. What When he told them to go and get Mike Pence to do the right thing, what was the right thing? What were they marching for? What is 1776? So, so what, what does that what mean? mean? when he said protest peacefully during It means he was giving exactly enough plausible mean? deniability for spineless hacks like you to come onto Twitter to try to defend him, even though every single reasonable person knows exactly what's happening. When he tells him to go down and encourage Mike Pence to do the right thing, because if you don't fight like hell, you're going to lose your country from the congressman trying to steal it from you. So, so Jeez, you want us to believe like the implication? I feel like every retarded thing that comes out of your mouth starts with "so you, so you, so you, uh, so you." Can you not engage with like a, a single fucking? So, so like, believe, so believe you, so, implications, so, so. but not direct, not directly what he says. Ignore, ignore what he said directly, and just go into what it all implies altogether. All, up to three hours after the fact, right? Like it's ridiculous, dude. Are suspenseful movies made like more enjoyable to you? with like having no short-term memory like does it just make life more entertaining in general or if like what what is it like having a mind that can only hold about like seven words at a time in it like i have to admit it man destiny i totally disagree with you but uh these comebacks are funny as shit <laughs> i mean you gotta admire his energy i don't know what it is yeah the well, it's it. just it's, it's crazy because in any other circumstance like the the president says hey here, like, here's the plan in the simplest terms. The president says, let's get seven states to make fake electors, okay? We're going to send them to the Capitol, and I'm going to have a talk with Pence and say, Pence, you really need to come through for us, okay? I'm going to tweet out a ton of pressure on Pence to come through for us, whatever the f*** that means. Then I'm going to invite all of my fans on the day they do the certification, the day that I plan to rig it, and I'm going to go and I'm going to rile them all up there, okay? I know that there are people in the audience with weapons. I know that. My Secret Service told me that, and I know that they're all riled up. I'm going to send them to the Capitol saying they need to tell Mike Pence to do the right things and choose the lawfully elected Slaters. And then when they go to the Capitol and they start rioting, okay? I'm going to sit in my room and I'm going to make phone calls and Giuliani's going to make phone calls to lawmakers saying, maybe you guys should delay the certification. Maybe some of these people are more mad than you are. Maybe that's your fault, guys. And then after three hours, when this doesn't happen, when a lady gets shot in the basement, then Donald Trump comes out and he tweets, okay, guys, time to go home because his little plot failed. It's so obvious for anybody. There's that through line. None of, and the, the saddest part is Donald Trump's defense to all of this isn't to say that didn't happen. I didn't do that. I didn't say that. His defense is to go before the Supreme Court of the United States and say, I need absolute criminal immunity unless I've been impeached for a crime. After the Republicans said, we can't impeach him, he's already out of office. That's Donald Trump's defense. Your defense is to fabricate and deny. Donald Trump didn't even bother denying. He said that I was the president. I can't be criminally prosecuted for it. Who are you carrying water for? Okay, we have definitely not advice. She has her hand up. Definitely not advice. You, you're a speaker. You can unmute. And if you have a question or a comment for Destiny, you can go ahead. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I fully understand the argument here is that uh, because Donald J. Trump didn't respond quickly enough to shut down whatever was happening on January 6th, uh, we are making fun of people being shot at his rally because some random lone gunman decided to shoot at him for whatever reason, and therefore that's acceptable. And we're going to completely ignore the fact that within the last two weeks, Joe Biden made a comment about putting Joe, uh, putting Donald Trump in the bullseye and then having multiple tweets sent out with that. Years of people calling him Hitler and indicating that we need to shut down all of these awful MAGA people at any cost. We're just ignoring all of that, and we're just going to go ahead and focus on the fact that he was drinking a Diet Coke, which, by the way, I'm glad he was drinking a Diet Coke. At least it wasn't full sugar, okay? A Diet Coke for the win. That's great for your diet. I'm glad he's really worried about his health. But to be clear, we're more worried about the fact that he was delayed in acting allegedly for January 6th and not that for the last year, two or more, people have been calling for action against any Republican who agrees with Donald Trump and that uh, we should put him in the bullseye. That's totally normal and acceptable, according to you, because he delayed his acting on January 6th. Just want to make sure we're 100 percent clear here. You know, some people, they like they'll eat like the whole Oreo and then other times they twist them and then they like eat the frosting first because everybody has like their own process. I'm curious for you. Do you like suck out like the blue parts of the Tide Pods first or do you eat the whole thing in one bite? when you're chowing down on them every night. I've, I've got to know. You know is it like the whole Tide Pod or do you do it part things? by part? Do you put out like 10 of them and eat the white part like in, in, in all 10 of them and then eat the rest of it? Or what a, what a retarded you know, summary of everything that I like f***ing said. Yeah, you sound like a extra really in my cousin Vinny, okay? Thanks for the input, okay? I'm done. I'm good. I'm out.
Okay. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> conservatives, we've been too nice, okay? I know that I've picked up some conservative fans, okay? Uh, over the past few years, maybe. I don't know how long, okay? I know I got more. I know I've got more than a thousand of you, okay? You are disgusting, anti-American, anti-patriotic fucks, and you are the cancerous rot that is destroying my fucking country, okay? The, uh, <clears throat> okay, so for people that were <laughs> uh, all over Twitter yesterday, um, he, this is my issue, I guess, explaining the long and the short of it, is somehow Republicans have enjoyed the ability to act with impunity um, in the most traitorous means possible in this country, and somehow we're supposed to treat them like ordinary citizens that are just exercising their democratic voices, and they have just as much legitimacy and just as much um, rights to their opinions in an American democracy as anybody else. And that, I'm, I'm tired of pretending for four years that that's supposed to be a thing, that people that are fully and willfully supporting a man that engaged in insurrection, that I'm supposed to treat that as like a, a, an equal opinion, um, and that like I'm supposed to sit here and have like pleasurable and nice conversations. And I think looking back on it, uh, talking with Ben Shapiro, Jordan Peterson, any of these people, uh, I, I already said that like I was worried like if I have more mainstream conversations, I feel like this conversation would be bad or boring. And now looking back on it, I think they were bad and boring. And I think it was cuck bullshit. Uh, I don't think I have any desire to sit here and, and pretend like somebody has the same value as, a, as an American citizen, um, as a person who like openly and wholly supports an insurrectionist president. Uh, and I'm tired of pretending that way. Um, in a democracy, there should be multiple ways to hold people accountable. And Trump has gotten to slide by all of them somehow. Uh, he wasn't allowed to be impeached because, because Republicans said, well, he's gone. We can't impeach him anymore. He, he left. We can't impeach a guy who's, who's out of office. That, remember, that is the only reason why he survived the conviction in the Senate is because enough Republicans said, you go and look up the votes, enough Republicans said he's out of office so we can't impeach anymore. And then afterwards, Donald Trump went before the Supreme Court and he said, well, uh, I can't be criminally charged unless I'm impeached. Right? Somehow he got to have it both ways. Uh, the Supreme Court gave him more than what he was asking for when it comes to criminal immunity. The Supreme Court rewrote the Constitution and they disregarded the 14th Amendment in order to have Donald Trump be qualified to sit as president again. Um, and the, um, uh, yeah, he, he was able to avoid conviction and he pardoned every single criminal fuck friend uh, that he had in office uh, when he was in office and he had the ability to, to pardon them. I think that from now on, when I engage with conservatives, the first step is always, and this should have been the strategy from fucking day one. And you know why it didn't happen? Uh, it's because I wasn't read enough on it, uh, embarrassingly and ashamedly enough. It's because I didn't follow enough on it because conservatives were so fucking good at setting the media standard, the agenda, that I would have assumed, well, if something as unhinged as this is gonna happen, of course, like the liberals will talk about it, but they aren't. And instead, we got more airplay over the past two weeks of Joe Biden, okay, looking like a bumbling dipshit than we did about the fact that the president of the United States now enjoys absolute criminal immunity when operating within his conclusive and preclusive powers of the president, whatever the fuck that means, okay? Just to be clear, none of these things like really mean anything. When you get people coming out like, oh, presumptive immunity, that didn't exist before uh, Roberts wrote it into existence. Or when people come out and they talk about, um, they talk about like, oh, the core powers of the, pre what are the, f the core powers of the, pre that didn't exist until Roberts wrote it into existence, okay? Or when people talk about the Supreme Court, it's like, well, uh, actually, uh, Congress didn't make laws uh, in the 14th, they didn't make laws for, uh, for equal protections either, they don't have to. It's an amendment. The Constitution doesn't need a law to enforce itself. What the f part of the Constitution has ever needed Congress to write a law saying that, well, this is what the Constitution says. You don't need a law. Constitution exists above Congress. Why the f*** would you need Congress to enforce any part of the Constitution? It's the Constitution. But the, um, uh, yeah, the, the, the every single conversation, every single conversation needs to be, do you acknowledge that Donald Trump led an insurrection? That's the start. And if they don't believe that, well, then you walk them through the process. Because remember, none of the insurrection is even contested. None of it is contested. The only way that Donald Trump fought against the insurrection charge was one, 
is he told the Supreme Court, not directly, but he got the Supreme Court essentially to rewrite the Constitution so that he could serve in office again, even if he was an insurrectionist. That was number one. And number two was asking the Supreme Court for immunity from all criminal charges while acting as president. Those are the two methods that he employed in order to, uh, in order to fight against uh, what he's been uh, uh, publicly accused of, and in some cases criminally charged of doing. That's the, that's the first thing that you walk him through. Number one. And then the second thing, I would just be curious, why did Donald Trump pardon every single person uh, in his administration that was charged with a crime, people like Manafort? Number three, why isn't Donald Trump going with the same vice president that he had before? Isn't that kind of strange? Why is it that none of Donald Trump's past cabinet members seem to be supporting his run for president? Isn't that kind of strange? Why is it, even, why is it that nobody that's worked with Trump, why has he turned his back on almost all of these people? Isn't that kind of weird? I, these are the things, these are the things that you should exclusively ask conservatives about. And when conservatives want to talk about anything else, there's two things you can do. You can either say, hold on, I need you to answer these questions first. And if they don't, then you walk the f away because they're not even worth the conversation. Don't even f***ing waste your oxygen talking to these people because they're not worth it. Okay, this, this is the only way that conservatives should be treated. Just as a fair warning publicly, okay, post this to all of your conservative comedy. If I get invited on any conservative show, any program, I don't give a f if it's to play mini golf, okay, from now on, whatever I get invited for, that's where the conversation starts. And we'll spend all 60 to 120 to 180 to 240 minutes, however, or to five it's hours, however the fuck long you want to talk, we will sit and we will talk and we will go through step by step of how Donald Trump tried to insurrect the government. <clears throat> before I'm willing to go any further in a conversation. And you should treat every single conservative the same. Every single conservative the exact same. You want to talk about Biden being mentally unfit to, to lead office? Before we can even have that conversation, we're going to talk about why Donald Trump is morally unfit to have office, okay? That's, that's where the, all the conversation should be at. But <clears throat> Did your conversation with Knowles lead you? No, unfortunately, my conversation with Knowles was actually a lot of fun. <laughs> we did a drinking game, and it was just a, kind of like a meme, whatever conversation. But um, seeing the unhinged response that Trumples are having uh, to the assassination attempt, where all of them were like, what? this is crazy. How can liberals be supporting violence? It's like, eat, eat shit. Oh, my fucking God. Please elaborate on how the Supreme Court disregarded the 14th Amendment. The Supreme Court... <clears throat> The 14th Amendment, wait, sorry. How do I get to the entire? This is the, this is the section three, there are five sections of this. How do I say the full 14th Amendment? I don't know why it's only, I shouldn't have looked for section three, hold on. I'm about to go to the exact same place. <clears throat> the 14th Amendment had five different sections to it. One of the sections that were passed after the Civil War, well, part of the 14th Amendment, uh, passed after the Civil War, is that no person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States uh, or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution of the United States shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. But Congress may, by a vote of two-thirds of each house, remove such disability, okay? This was a part of the Constitution um, because it's in an amendment and this was passed after uh, the Civil War, because we didn't want people who were insurrectionists to run for office again. And if I recall correctly, the strongest argument that the court used was that the states have no right to enforce Section 3, because in Section 5, there's an enforcement clause that says the Congress shall have power to enforce by appropriate legislation, the provisions of this article. And the ahistorical interpretation, um, <clears throat> I, don't like to use a, I don't like the word ahistorical. 
I'll say the fantastically historic, because Congress, this, uh, this Supreme Court will invent history or borrow c creatively from history when they, when they desire to. Um, their, reading of this, uh, their reading of this clause was to say that if Congress doesn't pass a law, it must not come into effect, which is interesting given that there didn't have to be any laws coming into effect for Section 1, which is where we get equal protection from. Crazy how that works. There wasn't an argument, and we read, and if you want, you can go back in my VODs and you can see it, okay? For the court case of Brown v. Board of Education, okay? It's an easy read. It's like 14 pages. At no part in Brown v. Board of Education did they say, hey, well, hold on. Congress hasn't passed laws yet saying we need to desegregate schools. Congress didn't pass a law for this. Well, we don't actually know if equal protections would apply here because Congress hasn't spoken on it yet. It's, this court is unhinged, okay? This court is unhinged. But, I'm sorry, when you ask me about the 14th Amendment Section 3 thing, there was a provision to an amendment that was specifically made to say that, like, oh, well, if you've, if you've engaged in insurrection or you've, like, helped people down, you probably shouldn't run for office again. And the Supreme Court said, well, actually, that's actually a really inconvenient clause right now. Why was the decision 9-0? The decision wasn't 9-0. Um, the decision was 6-3. However, for matters of... Uh, for matters of coherency and uh, legitimacy of the court and for bringing America together, for some reason, uh, Brown, uh, Sotomayor, and Kagan were dragged along like clueless, blubbering dipshits by the majority. And instead of having a 6-3 opinion, which when the original document came out, you could control F in the PDF and find that it had, I think it was three decisions dissenting in part, but they changed it to be a 9-0 decision because they wanted to bring America together and heal. Surprisingly, that same rhetoric seemed to be absent when talking about, say, the Chevron decision, America being united and healed there didn't seem to matter, and it also seemed to be surprisingly absent in the criminal immunity decision. The fact that Americans might be incensed that the president is now a king above criminal prosecution also seemed to be absent from Robert's writing there uh, when it came time to talk about that. I don't know, it seems pretty crazy that the court selectively, they've got like a toolbox of arguments that they use, and they pick and choose for whatever seems to be politically expedient for them at the time, but... <clears throat> did they literally say they wanted to bring America together? Uh, I believe they did. It's been a while since I read this decision, uh, but I'm the only commentator that talks about any of this shit online that reads any of these fucking decisions. But um, we can go back and look at it. But I, it was something along, I think it might have been around the line where they talk about a patchwork of unworkable laws. And, um, or maybe it might have been, did sort of my, my or write a concurrence at the bottom? Um, let's see, where is this? Research. Uh library. Fuck, I need to get better at navigating my folders. I don't know if I had taken, um, was it the Anderson one? It was, I think it was Anderson. Oh, when they wrote their concurrence here, I don't think they included that. It might have, maybe it was in the, oh, it might have just been here. Uh, okay, it was with, um, it was with Barrett's concurrence. <clears throat> Justice Barrett concurring in part and concurring in the judgment. I join parts 1 and 2B of the court's opinion. I agree that states lack the power to enforce Section 3 against presidential candidates. That principle is sufficient to resolve this case, and I would decide no more than that. This suit was brought by Colorado voters under state law in state court. It does not require us to address the complicated question whether federal legislation is the exclusive vehicle through which Section 3 can be enforced. Also, you want to talk about, like, textual reading and, like, you know, whatever the fuck? Agree with her or disagree with her. I have yet to read something, um, and it was funny because she was supposed to be the most unhinged justice. Uh, Amy Coney Barrett seems like the most reasonable conservative on the court. I also really like the way Gorsuch writes, um, <clears throat> but just in my, my opinion. I, I don't think I've seen Amy write anything where I'm like, God, what a fucking idiot. Um, like I have for Roberts and Alito, arguably, and definitely uh, Thomas. Jesus Christ. Clarence Thomas is actually a fucking schizoid. Um, but sorry, just in reading this, okay? Um... That principle is sufficient to resolve the question before the court. Okay. The majority's choice of a different path leaves the remaining justices with a choice of how to respond. In my judgment, this is not the time to amplify disagreement with stridency. The court has settled a politically charged issue in the volatile season of a presidential election. Particularly in this circumstance, writings on the court should turn the national temperature down, not up. For present purposes, our differences are far less important than our unanimity. All nine justices agree on the outcome of this case. That is the message Americans should take home. Fuck you. Um, 
Brown is her middle name. Oh wait, is it? Is it Brown Jackson? Jackson might be the last name. Sorry, I mix the, I mix the two up sometimes. Is it? It's Jackson Kagan and Sotomayor. But the um, yeah, this is where where was this turned the temperature down? Where was this in the immunity case? Excuse me, what? I don't care whether they're talking about the Twitter space. I'm good. <clears throat> I agree with Chevron in this ruling, but immunity was fucking wild. Um, I think that Gorsuch, in my opinion, don't tell Pisco, Gorsuch made a very compelling argument for Chevron. I don't think this decision was defensible, but uh, maybe. Um, the immunity one was just the most unhinged shit. I don't know where, well, I guess I just haven't read enough decisions yet to get a feel for all the justices. But the idea that Roberts is the center of this court and could write such an amateurish, uh, ghoulish fucking opinion is unreal to me. But, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Will you join other Twitter space in the future? Uh, maybe. Yeah, or yeah, we can probably do it. I need to figure out how to host them. Um, when Kat was muting me, though, it was fair, because we were all just, like, screaming over each other, so. Um, real quick, hold on, because I see some people. This is actually a disgusting moment for someone I respect so much. Al Destiny, okay? I don't have time to respond to all of you. Um... If you're disappointed in my take today, and it's like one of the biggest things that's standing on your mind, just know that I am thinking of you as the cancer rotting my country, okay? Or if you're a foreigner, then you're gonna have whatever dumb fuck opinion um, you have. Do you really think Ben Shapiro is bad faith? Absolutely, of course he is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just know that, okay? That you are the cancer, all right, rotting this country. And the idea that you're more mad about anything that I'm saying, about laughing at some Putin simp fuck retard getting blasted away at some fucking uh, riot or not riot or rally or whatever the fuck, okay? If you think that my opinion on that is like abhorrent and you've been blind or silent or civil about the conservatives marching, really their own party and this country up a fucking cliff, eat shit, okay? Or eat the blue parts <laughs> of the pods first. But. Um, okay, I'm trying to think of the nails. Tomorrow, we're just back to reading. Uh, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna be like a reading streamer. Um, just have all these notes we wanna get through. I think I'm pretty much done with the Iranian hostage thing. Um, most of this. Yeah, and we'll just read and read and read, cause why not? What the fuck else is there to do? Um, remember, if you're a Republican who supports Trump, I do hate you. Don't forget that. I'm not memeing. It's not a joke. Okay? I know I have more of you out there. Okay? Get the fuck. Get the fuck out of here. I know there are more of you. Okay? August, don't edit that out of the video. Okay? I know there are more of you. I know there are more. I know you're hiding out there. Okay? Unsubscribe. Are you worried how this will affect your mainstream appearances? No. Because I don't give a fuck about cuck mainstream appearances anymore. I don't care. And I regret that I took part in them in the civil way that I did. When I had Jordan Peterson in front of me, he should have left that room crying, okay? He should have been slamming his, his, uh, his, his benzo-rotted fucking brain against the wall in humiliation that some music school dropout retard could run circles around him because his exclusive source of news is fucking Twitter, okay? No, I, I regret. Or the fact that I could sit across from Ben Shapiro and have this whole line of questioning that was supposed to follow. Don't you guys think that Donald uh, Trump is kind of graded on a curve from conservatives? And he could go, yeah, I do grade him on a curve. And I do accept that he probably tried to insurrect the government, but, um, you know, I think that the guardrails hold that should have been like a that should have been a nuclear moment and we should have spent the entire rest of the conversation on that um instead of letting us drift from topic to topic to topic uh, i fully regret 
any time that I sat across from a conservative and I didn't hold them to account for the destruction that they are marching this country towards, um, and instead I maintained the air of civil conversation with them, they should, the conversation should have all been way more harsh. Um, or for dipshits like Constantine, who will sit here and use their own supposed Ukrainian family. I don't even know if he has Ukrainian relatives. If they did, I would imagine they want to fucking kill this Putin simp fuck, okay? That I would just sit there and let him lie to me uh, about shit going on in Ukraine. Um, by, by bringing up supposed fucking family there or whatever. No, I shouldn't, no. I shouldn't have tolerated any of this in any reason. It should have been way more aggressive. Um, fuck these people. Uh, they don't deserve respect as American citizens, okay? They should have been treated as such. Fuck them, all right? Remember, okay? Marching orders going forward, okay? Every conservative, the conversation starts with insurrection. And if they won't acknowledge that, there's no reason to talk about a single other fucking thing, okay? It starts with insurrection, number one. Um, Fuck, what were the other two things? Uh, one thing is, why does Trump pardon all of his criminal fuck friends? Uh, and the third thing is, why is he running with a different vice president? A different vice president? Why won't any of his cabinet members from before back him? Why are they all different? That These should be the three things that every single concern, before they even want to talk about anything else. If your mom comes into the room and she asks you, do you want to order chicken tenders from McDonald's or Burger King? And your mom is voting for Trump, the first words out of your mouth should be, mom, do you think Donald Trump engaged in insurrection? And you don't answer that question until she answers your ears, okay? She has to walk through all three before she door dashes you any chicken tenders, all right? Every single conservative, every single conversation needs to start with these three questions. And then once you've gotten through all of those three, okay, once they've admitted he pardoned all of his criminal crony fuck friends because he is a criminal crony fuck, um, he tried to insurrect the government because he's an anti-democratic authoritarian fucking dictator, and nobody's running with him before because if you get close enough to Trump, you can smell the corruption and treason on him. Once they've admitted all those three things, then they can ask you, do you think that Biden is kind of senile? You'll be like, yeah, I think he is kind of senile. Then it's totally fair at that point. Yeah, sure, we can talk about our issues.